episode 70 of Evermore with Everlore. We've got your usual host, Dave. Wait, no. I'm I'm the one sitting in the suit. You're yeah, kind of spell no, he, he's, not, he's not afraid, boy. Oh man, don't say that. My haircut is beautiful. Don't be a hater. All right. So, boys and boys. Today, <laughs> and women, we will have that eventually. We will eventually. All right. So Today, I'm going to be war mastering, and I think it's fair that we should start off with recap. Who would like to go first? Well, I'll go. I will definitely uh, not go. You know what? Right. <laughs> I'll go. Okay. Let's I go. feel like it's not right. <laughs> All right. So, if you're going, raise your hand. You, you, you. Micah, you're not going? I want to last week. Oh, Why you weren't. Try, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah just try. Okay. Yeah, we didn't notice so, you being gone. Dave, on you're one, two. Davey, yeah, you are three, mm-hmm. four. Caleb, you're five, six. This could be five. It is a five. Oh. oh. All right. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> 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 it's fine. Go I ahead. Am. And okay. uh, start so, uh, you're ready. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for being generous enough to not start yet. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. totally. Uh, man, you are. Uh, just, uh, just waiting for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. so, uh, last week, last week was, <laughs> yep. last week was. Week that we did this. Last so, week uh, was a week indeed. Um, well... Well, you know, I'm, I'm going to start at the end and work back. Okay? <laughs> that is an interesting <laughs> strategy. I like that storytelling arc. Like that story said, oh, okay. Yay, welcome back, Stitch. And then she said, break a leg, Anthony. <laughs> you got oh, it. Guys. Break and, a couple. And then Mika Butler also said, you got this, Anthony. Yeah. And OG yeah. Drummer said, yay, yeah, Anthony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Um, Anyway. So um, I'm just going to start at near the end and go to there. You're on stolen time. So, um, <laughs> We had just rescued the dog, and then, uh, so, uh, someone came to Restillian, uh, well, Restillian, in the middle of the night, as we were sleeping, Mm -hmm. heard a voice, sort of, uh, and so he got up and told Balok that he was going to go off and do something, and then Balok just went back to sleep because he didn't really care, uh, so then Balok, I mean, then, so then... Rustillian went off and uh, he ended up meeting someone. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, meeting someone. Uh, oh, this is so great. And when he did that, he, he never asked their name. So mm. I'm not going to say that because. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And so, uh, yeah. And then, so that happened. And then they talked a bit. Uh, and a uh, person who he met was like, hey, you can do this thing with, like, Ten. nature now. Uh, Nine, so, uh, yeah, Ten. and then he started to be able to, like, move the trees, like, Five, you know? Four, uh, yeah. Two. Okay, all right, you're done? Yeah. All right, yeah. sweet. So it's between Seven. you and you. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Well, hey! It's six, so go ahead. Okay, so, um... Begin. After I met the crime freedom, um, uh, it turns out that the dog that was sent with me, um, when that that we found that Baylock almost put on fire. Yep. Um, uh, <laughs> you did um, it up. turns out that it had um, like an ulterior motive. It was I I took it as it was like a test to, to, to like show that I'm the, the true I'm a good defender. Okay. Um. Anyway, so after I left them. Didn't get all of what the tree said because y'all didn't get me left in the Oh, yo! No! Okay. Um, but what, <laughs> most of it was <laughs> the tree says, uh, the trees are ready to answer your call. You may reap the beauty of the tree, the vine will, and that's where I got it. <laughs> um, the okay. vine will. Hey guys, Paganini one oh, uh, Paganini one. Said uh, a base of cry three months. Hey, thanks, Paganini. Hey, hello, hello. Paganini. And, uh, Volker said that uh, off to a good start. And then um, Savage Black said, Anthony, flex your LM wings. Yeah. All right. We're going to try and get him working. All right, Davey, go um, ahead and tell us the time before you. 
So yeah. anyway, so after that, we uh, I went back to sleep and then we woke back up and we were heading to the Hatfield City and we came upon these. Well, I originally found them. It was a a group of halflings and they seemed to be on the defense because we were near the city, which just makes sense. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I talked to one of them. I told them about what happened, uh, that there were some halflings left behind. They said, okay, cool, we got you. So we proceeded to go to a, a there was this waterfall and this little lake almost, and mm -hmm. me, Baylock, and Jimmy, Can I Misu, you? no, Misu um, went over and uh, we touched on a rock after we cut ourselves, and then, like, the rock covered her hand in blood, mm -hmm. our blood, and mm -hmm. it opened up. We walked no. through, and then Halfling City. Mm -hmm. Halfling City. And that's where you're going to stop? Yeah. Uh, All yeah. right, Dave, you're the last one. You ready? I think so. All no, right. He's not. Three, yeah. two, one. All right. Yeah. All right. So, um, where we left, uh, let me see. Okay. So we started last time with the the dark thing was still trying to attack them, mm -hmm. and um, Rastillion uh, teleported into the air, and then the dark thing followed him in the air, um, and then Balok sort of half teleported in the air, and he was like sticking out of the air, um, and the dark thing started coming after trying to get at the Balok. Um, eventually, they got away, and Rastillion was like, "Let's stop using these special abilities." Mm -hmm. uh, so once that happened, they didn't they didn't see the dark thing again, um, and uh, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all you got. Yep, yep. Okay. I'm just right. saying. And I'd say zero. That was <laughs> what? And that was that was really everybody who raised their hands, <laughs> huh? All right. Well, yeah. We had we had a lot go on that session too. Yeah, okay. else I know. Well, I didn't think it was like. I read it. Yeah, so I, I knew what happened. Yeah, but you still should have raised your hand at least. <laughs> yeah. That would be terrible if it was like, yeah, and then I get like three EP mm -hmm. compared to like Well, you know, that's a shame. All right, so everybody who yeah, everybody who recap gets one EP. Well, normally right. you give the first Wait, person two. Hold on, hey, 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 so hey. This, this is what I'm talking about. They turn into wine and you know, yeah, they don't do right. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, no, it's it's not says right. Anthony is stone cold focused tonight. I I am. I'm sorry. I'll 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 swap something up for you. Don't worry. All right. So what what what? Y'all got some side deals going on? No, 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 no side deals. Yeah. EP campaign. No, no side pro was low. No, no, no side hey, deals. I'll give you, you this side deal right here. No, uh, no, ten more EP. That'd be great. No, no side deals. Just half points. Ten more EP. That's all. All right. So starting off. Remind me on uh, break. I need to get your stat. Get my for stat. Mine, for six hundred. Oh, six hundred. Oh, got it. Um, I might have to recall what that was. Uh, I got okay. you. So we're going to start off where we were last time. You guys put your hands towards the waterfall, touched it, and strange things began to happen. You guys see that happen. It was a rock, not a waterfall. You, I, I said you put your hand on a rock in the water. Ignore it. You put your hand. Take the EP. Give it to us. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. So you guys put your hand on a rock in the waterfall, and the water, it begins to shine a little bit, you think? What do you guys do? Yep. Well, I've been in here before. Did that happen last time? Yes. You would have known that I'm means. Just chill. Just pipe. Okay. 36. 36. Okay. You're not there. Right? You're not there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is this is just a silly uh, like uh, right mm -hmm. All of right. That. So you see uh, you the water know. begin to sprinkle, and you realize that for you guys, it's not like when you put your hand towards the rock, it's not getting you wet. Okay, cool. So like the water, you might think it has you know something fishy going on about it. Ha! <laughs> no pun intended to the water. Okay. Yeah. This is why I'm not I'm moving, moving right that. along. I'm not going to say that. Mm -hmm. So, what are you going to do? I'm just chill. Well, 
nothing's happened yet. Like, we are in the old insight. Right. Yeah, that works. Yeah, just trying to stay honest. We appreciate that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anthony's all willy nilly. Right. Like, <laughs> hey, everybody, look at my notes. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just, okay, all right, whatever. Sure. So, you guys, you, you, you see that happen, and you look a little bit longer, and the, the waterfall is still there. You notice it's not getting you wet at all when you put your hand on the rock towards the waterfall. Hmm. <laughs> Is that, like, do I know what's going on? Like, um, roll knowledge. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna ask you roll knowledge. You would. <laughs> Is Misu still with you guys? I hate yeah, this new Ellen. I hate this new Ellen. Oh, come on. Wait, what, what, uh, I'm yeah, not the best. I'd also roll anything to ask Misu something. Yeah, I you don't have to roll anything to ask Misu. has something else to do. Yeah. Yeah, but he's still there. You didn't say he left. Especially because we went back in time. Going from where we left off. Just uh, I got a 14 for knowledge. You got a 14 for knowledge? Okay. Yeah. So you would know that the water here is... It, it's magical in a sense. And the, it doesn't really exist right now. And so right now it's more of like a guise. It's like a disguise. Yeah, but do I know like... What's going on with the rock, though? Oh, so I'm just gonna walk through the water. Okay, rock. you walk through the water. You're Safe. not wet at all, and so you should roll insight. I'm gonna follow suit. What's that? I'm gonna follow suit. Right. Thirty-five. Um, thirty-five. Okay, so you look around, and inside you see a really big cavernous-looking cave. It's um, you know, maybe about. 30 feet high and 30 feet wide and deep. You're not sure how far it goes because it gets kind of dark towards the end. Um, you notice that there's water and you know some foliage around. You see him walking the waterfall. I'm gonna go with him. All right, so you follow him into the waterfall and right. you come in. Hey, real quick. Uh, Mika, Mika Beller asks, where's the little, where's the little shield thing? That we're <laughs> Dang it, I'm trying to read here now. Oh, uh, Mika Beller said, uh, where's the little shield thing that the Elm uses? Anthony needs one. He actually, it's, it's the Lore Master screen, and he has one. He just uh, just had it sort of facing out and didn't have it um, facing uh, the other player. So, uh, uh, yeah, there it goes. And then, of course, so Glo Glowglyph said, uh, That's why I when did Teddy become a dad? Because that joke... Felt like it came right out of an embarrassed dad's mouth. LOL. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I'm a dad. You know, so I, I take offense at that, my friend. <laughs> no, 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 you're definitely right. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> That's wrong! <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. It's some type of way. All right, so you enter the cave, roll inside. Okay. Uh, cool. Ooh, rock. Okay, same thing. Uh, uh, I was gonna, um... Is it nighttime? Um, right when Caleb came Before in, or right, right, Baylock came in, mm -hmm. I was going to cast Eagle Sight on both of us. And Eagle Sight, uh, <coughs> the description is this spell enhances the caster's sight threefold. Well, allowing her to see in low light conditions, if the target already has star sight, then she will receive un under sight during the application of this spell. And it lasts 1d6 per combat. Oh, no, or one hour out of combat. So me and Kale both have star sight. Yes, so cool. then we have no, sight. your sight for an hour, which means Sweet. we can see in the dark of Okay, so you guys see that towards the end of the cave, it might be about 400 feet deep, and you kind of realize that towards the end, even though you have under sight, you don't really see past the 400 feet. Okay. Um, so I'm going to insight on my, I got a 34 on my insight. You got a 34? Okay, you see the same thing as him. It's a cave, it's got water in the ground, you know, not really engravings, but just sort of erosion from over so time. I'm going to roll is this more a process? Um, you would know that this is, you're on the right path. I'm going to roll to detect traps. You're going to roll to detect traps? Okay. Yeah. 17. So yes, I did detect if there were any traps. Um, a 17? Oh, a percentage die? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, okay. You, hmm. 
Okay, so you Lord don't. Deep in thought. I am deep in thought. You we didn't cover that in the notes. <laughs> <laughs> you um detect thoughts. Okay, you will notice that there are weapons pointed at you from towards the end of the cave. Mm. You see through the darkness, whether it's because of the glint of the water coming up, you notice that there are two ballistas aimed somewhere from the darkness towards you. Cool, 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 cool. And as you notice that, roll inside again, both of you. Uh, okay. You said inside? Yeah. Um, yes, inside. Just for the next turn. Sweet. Um, 35 the best. Uh, 34. 35 and 34. Okay. So you guys notice that on the ceiling, a pair of two white eyes are staring down at you. Wait a And so you, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys see this halfling, and it's hanging from the stalactite on the ceiling, and she just falls mm. straight down. And, like, she's just standing directly up, hits the floor, doesn't bend her knees at all, hits the ground. It's terrible for her knees. Yeah, no, you should... It's terrible for the knees. You should probably, like, roll into it. <laughs> Better for you going. Greetings, Bloodstock. Clinchstock. Oh, well. I believe you... So, Lex, so oh. they're about to get blasted. <laughs> they're about to get Honestly, blasted? Honestly, campaign, it's a wrap. <laughs> Right. What is your business here in Maricosa? Uh, to enter Maricosa? We are carrying... carrying uh, I'm gonna... I can't say it, but like I'm trying to like tell her um, the thing. Go ahead and roll knowledge. <laughs> Did you just roll that? Oh, was it cocked? It got caught twice. <laughs> nice. Uh, so uh, that's going to be a 21. 21? Okay. So you see the strange eyes of this guard. And the way you see them, they're white, almost like a babyish blue. And you take notice that the veins in their arm ever so slightly glow. And you would remember from your time, you know, being near Maricosa, you would know that this is an amaranthian, which is a halfling that has, you know, been born with this special spark of divinity from being born in the plain of Maricosa. Mm. And so you would basically know she's a bad mamma jamma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, you know, she's not one to be taken lightly. Yeah, okay. Uh... OG Drummer said, that's karma for the dog he had, um, has just been introduced. And Mika Butler says, points for using the word stalactite. <laughs> and Pixie Mix says, y'all all about to get spanked for all the times you've had Anthony th grief. <laughs> uh, am I allowed to, like, say... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm not there. I'm just going to say there. that um, I'm me and Baylock are both carrying um, two... Um, can I roll knowledge... So my character can remember what they were called, because I don't remember it. <laughs> Bruh! I'm going to roll to see my character. Can I think it. that should be wow. EP for the party. You can roll. I think EP for the party. I was asking you, I'm sorry. I mean, um, I'm just saying, he's not going to know. Brutal! But no, I don't want to waste the roll, and then he'd be like, oh, you can't do it. Can't, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, eh, you just... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. I, I have to roll to remember how to get to Marcosa, I think. That, <laughs> you can... Death, how to get to my home. Just you can go for it, and we'll have the main Lord Master this guy. Knowledge? Learning? Knowledge? Um, it would be knowledge. Didn't really matter the same number. Totally so much you... Well, I did <laughs> the same number. Okay, oh interesting. Oh, interesting. Oh, Okay, you got a 23. Yeah. So, um, what are those called? So, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Do me a favor and describe to her what you're trying to say to her. So, like, they're, um, we're carrying two, well, it's one, but it was split between the both of us, uh, large um, groupings of um, shards of the blood moon. 
Yeah. And that's sufficient. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's great. Yeah. But do we, but are they called suspects? They are not, not that you guys would know. No. I thought somebody said it. No, someone told us. Well, no, when he said it, he said that it was, um, he called it like a cocoon. Yeah. But that's not really what it is. Hmm. Shards of the blood moon. You must be on very urgent business. Then I shouldn't hold you up any longer. Go and see the fort ahead. It's uh, not a very far travel from this cave. And then she'll step to the side and allow you guys passage. Okay. So um, so we just like go forward? Yeah, I'm just going to go forward. Mm -hmm. Go for it. No, you said it was something from the moon. And so as you guys walk forward, you feel almost like how you do when you pass Portal Breach. You start to head through that, but instead of just like passing through one end and entering through the other, you almost go through this sort of, I don't want to say it's like a median, you know, like, you guys basically pass through like a interdimensional hallway almost. And mm -hmm. then when you come out the other side, you find yourself on the edge of like a cliff almost. Wow. And you know, it, it's not tight at all. You have about like a hundred feet of space and you see just a fortress at the end. Um, yeah. So you guys see a fortress right at the end, and you see two ballistas aimed directly at you on either side oh, of this Lord. fortress. Jesus. <laughs> and, you know, the fortress seems to be made out of, you know, stone and just metal. And it looks really heavy duty. Yep. Uh... And so the guard on the top right ballista, he's going to usher you guys. Come on the right through. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> and then you're going to see two halflings pull open like a lever at the top. And then you're just going to hear like a bunch of metal churning and water steaming. And then the gates are going to come down into the ground. Yep. This is what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go through the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll just... All right, you guys go through the door. The gates close behind you. Oh, that's sent your text. Got it. All right, so you guys see the doors close behind you, and on the other side in front of you, they're opening up, right? Mm -hmm. And as you see that, you guys see this huge, maybe 1,000 foot bridge. And it's, uh, uh, my apologies, I'm trying to open this text, but my phone is slow. All right, so you guys see this thousand foot bridge, right? And it's not really a bridge. You guys see like two bases of the bridge. I'm sorry, this is no, slow. It's, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a minor thing, you guys, sorry. Okay, all right, no, it's fine. So you guys see two almost bases for this thing. And it's on either side of this huge cliff, right? And a river runs under it and it's coming from the cliff down through the sort of gap between you guys and you'll see another fortress on the other side and so you see as you hear more water steaming and metal churning you'll see this water shoot out from either side of the gate and it doesn't fall like normal water it's solid almost and as you see that two halflings with crossbows will be walking across the water on either side of you guys while the bridge extends out to meet in the middle and you know cross the gap I'm walking across the bridge. Yeah, what? What's that? I'm walking across the bridge. Boys over there mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> right. No confidence. Mm -hmm. So you guys are I'm crossing stuck. the gap. Uh, here we go. Okay. So as you do that, um, sorry about that. I couldn't think straight. So you guys walk through. Um, you guys hear a bunch of metal turning. The guy on the ballista, he raises a hand signal, you see the doors fall down again, you know, you repeat the thing, you walk through and you get to the other side of the fortress. Go ahead and give me an insight roll. Insight. Um, uh, 42. 42. All right, so you guys, you rolled a 42 and what'd you get? 32. 32, all right. So you guys survey the land and you see like, you see the huge city, you know, it's got great big walls, and you guys see these huge dinosaurs, like Brachiosaurus. They have just great big long necks reaching up into the sky, and you guys see almost like buildings on them or something. 
and there's easily like maybe six or seven of these things just wandering about. You see one off in the distance and it's just stomping away like as fast as it can. And so, um, uh, Baylock, go ahead and give me a knowledge roll. Uh, <laughs> just wanted to send my support. Thirteen. <laughs> 13? Yep. Okay. So you look out and you think, oh man, those are some cool dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah, old right. drummer says dinos with buildings. <laughs> yep. Right. That they are, sir. All right. I got this wrong real quick. So this plane is not called Maricosa, it's called Abamara. My bad. So like that's the dimension, I guess, that you guys are in right now. So you guys look out and see that. And above all though, you notice that up in the sky, there's this great huge giant eye that takes up the entire scape of the sky. And instead of it being, you know, dark because there's an eye, the glow from this that? eye, that's white and cosmos-like. Oh. How do you spell the name? Right? Oh, oh the Abamora. Yeah. It's A-B-B-A. Apostrophe M A R A. And so you guys look up and you see staring down onto the plane is this huge, giant, white, almost baby bluish eye. And in the eye, aside from the pupil where it's completely black, it almost looks like the cosmos. Like you mm -hmm. see shooting stars and galaxies and all sorts of different interesting shapes nice. in this eye. And so um basically you know out of game you guys get plus one to whatever would give you that usually at night while this eye is open cool. Just oh, so so we get the yep cool, cool. 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 Mm -hmm. <sighs> and so you see right now that the eye is like yeah. completely open like it's very wide yeah. and you guys have that hey mika butler is giving you props she said he's doing great love the <laughs> imagery uh, he's really into it, the details, and I feel like I'm there. So, <laughs> oh, my boy. OG Drummer says it gives the wearer the secrets of the cosmos. <laughs> right. I have a question. What's up? So, are we getting the astral infusion bonus, or are we getting a, the astral infusion plus one? No, no, no. You're just getting the normal astral infusion bonus from the eye being open. Get out of here with all that ridiculousness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you would have tried it. You know yeah. it. Come on. You tried it. All right. So we're going to cut to Wahuru real quick. Are you? Yeah, the better. Well, part yeah, we are. We are. I got to buy stuff. Mm, I don't um, think so. It's not like that. Yeah. All right. So you guys have been traveling with Liwano for a second. Um, you guys are heading towards the Syndicate tribe. Um. What is everybody doing? Um, Maritoba is, um, I'm trying to sort of hang back mm -hmm. and sort of gauge everybody's movements. You okay. know, see how well we're working together, you know, things uh, like that. Uh, well, uh, I, as Vondra, <clears throat> I think we all need to talk. I haven't, uh, we haven't really been trying to, uh, I guess, utilize or learn the names that I was coming up with earlier. I would like to uh, yeah, sort you, of work on You that. know what? Come on, I, why, I, is I, it, why is he sort of bass in your voice now? Because I'm Vondra. <laughs> that is why. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I am Vondra. I tried to use those names. Uh -huh. It just didn't work out for me. Yeah, well, that's it's uh, in yeah. due time. It takes some practice. Yeah, so but... I'm I'm the sword. Ah, uh, no, you... I'm the shadow. Yes, the shadow. Yeah, you are the shadow. What am I? I forgot. You are the skies, the, the cloud. cloud, the clouds. Oh, it's going better. I'm yes, well, and it then depends got... on what we're mixing. In okay. in the middle of you guys talking, Liwano is going to stop in his tracks and he's going to raise his hand up. And I guess we're I'm gonna, gonna roll, roll to see if we notice that because we're gonna keep talking uh -huh. <laughs> until we do. Mm -hmm. uh, I rolled a oh, 29. and I rolled a two. Okay. Uh, so I have ni uh, 19. Okay. Yeah. So, so you rolled a 29. 19. To see. You got a 29. 29. So Montopa's like, I don't understand this. Okay. You know, okay. I'm gonna say to Montopa and Nage Crush. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did you see it? Oh wait. Yeah. Yeah. 29. Okay, you so you got a 29, you got a 29, you got a... Yeah, because I think 19, Shadow... 19. Shadow. Okay, you got a 19. Shadow so Monotopa keeps talking. Me, but, you know, Did Shadow... You yeah, you know. Shadow's so, so in Mage, I'm going to say, shh. 
with Lana, oh. and I'm going to point. Oh, and then my trouble is going to look around. Hi, Lee Wano says quickly. Uh, and I oh, oh, I'm so stuff, stuff and I'm okay. casting concealment. So. Go for it. Oh, Lord. And as you do Woo! that, um, let's see here. As you do that, Lee Wano is gone. Okay, so oh. I rolled a 31 for stealth. I got a 32 for stealth. I'm going to go inside to see what's around us. <laughs> Mark says nothing. If I throw my coat off, I can I rolled a 25 for inside. <laughs> so, 35. All right, you got a 35. 25. You got a 25. Stealth? No, oh, it's like, trying to find where we're going to hide at. Oh, I, I did. Uh, oh, 30. you're rolling insight to see where you're going to hide? Yeah. You got a 25 for insight. What was your stealth? 32 goal? stealth. Yeah, 32 I got 31 stealth. stealth with okay. concealment. So. Because I cast the concealment as well. Okay, so you rolled insight to find somewhere to hide. The way you guys are right now, it's just a really wooded place. There's not much shrubbery, but the trees are like everywhere. And okay. so you could probably, the way your frame is built, you're more sleek. So you could probably like chill right behind one, you know, from where Liwana was pointing his hand. That's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, might as well just cast some concealment. Okay. I did stealth as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Same, so same. Start, yeah. same. And Great so, minds think alike, yeah. you know, as like you guys this. do that, you don't even have to roll insight just to hear, you know, this ugly creaking <laughs> sound, and it I sounds. You had something in your throat. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, got to do a <laughs> <hybrid> maneuver. <laughs> you, know, you hear something, and it sounds, you know, just disgusting and feral. And you know, you guys can sort of hear it walking past you guys. Go ahead and do another stealth roll as it's walking like directly past the street that's uh, the tree that uh, Monotope is behind. All right. So like you can almost smell Woo! this thing just by how close. Whoa, it is. Man, what was that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh man. <laughs> I got a thirty-five. Okay, you got a thirty-five. Was at 30. twelve. That's why. Thirty. And what did you get? Thirty-seven. 37. Okay, you know, all right, fine. Whatever. So, I'm not until I have eight, you know what I'm saying? I have concealment on, too. Yeah, right here. So, so oh. from the way you're hidden, you okay. can't see this. How are you oh. hiding, Bongo? Uh, with, with the spell. I don't know. Oh. I'm just, okay, I'm, I'm right. only stealth to be as quiet as possible with the. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, so from the, the angle yeah. you're at, you see this like disgusting Kajalin, or Kada, what's up? Do we have to roll spell dominance against these things or? Um, spell dominance? Uh, so mm, uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Okay, I mean, just, just, just with the stealth rolls alone. Yes or no, that's, that's good. Yeah. yeah, all right. All right, so you guys notice that and you would see this thing just stomping past, right past Monotopa. Like his face is almost next to him as it just continues walking the other way. And you know, after maybe a minute or two of waiting, it's gone. I'm gonna pull out my sword. Mm -hmm. Ready weapon silently with the and my <laughs> shield. And so, I get my do I need to roll mm -hmm. stealth again? Um, no, you don't need to roll stealth again. Liwana, he's going to fall out of a tree and he's gonna, you know, brace his legs and stand up and he's going to say, The danger is past. We may continue onward. Fair enough. That's when I'll go back. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm glad to see you were ready for combat. Face you in bloodshed. Yes, we were. The same that Kadaja lived. Yeah, yeah, game. Um, the game. <laughs> okay, so then um, I am going to say uh, you guys should make sure you're watching out a little bit better next time. <laughs> yeah. We have to work on that. <laughs> yes, we want to lead the way. Yeah. Uh, yes. You should. And then you guys are going to continue onward. You guys are following past a river for about a day. Um, you know, it's not eventful. Do you guys want to do anything while you're traveling through? With the river? Ah, yep. I want I to, to ask Khaled, uh, do you mind teaching me how to uh, meditate? Oh, uh, the meditation I do? Yeah, I'd be fine to do that. I'm um, just trying to learn how to focus and uh, I guess. Well, I don't know what. I'm, uh, I'm role playing, <laughs> man. Get out of here. Jeez. Anyway, they're not here. I'm just trying to learn how to focus my mind and 
release the problems that have been uh, re restricting me. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. I'd love to help you meditate. Um, Liwano, uh, do you think it would be okay if we set camp here for the night? It is getting kind of late. Um, if we must stop here, then we may take a break for Wahuru. And so he is going to stop there, and then he's going to start setting up this uh, TP almost. He's gathered the leather from earlier, and so right now he's like finding a good stick and starting to set up mm. a tent for us. All right, I want to assist him. All right, so you're gonna help him with that. Okay, go ahead and give me some. Uh, give me a. I was gonna say. A stitch. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, since Liwano's already crafting it, go ahead and give me a survival roll just to sort of oh, get everything put together. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Four. So. Liwano's crafting everything together. You're helping him get the stick into the ground pretty well. Um, you know, you're helping make sure that it's set well. So we have the entrance, you know, <laughs> kind of towards the river, not really, but you, you're, you're doing a good job. Yeah. Liwano, he nods at your assistance. Very good, all right. Um, after Maritopa sees they're finished, I'm gonna go up to Stitch and say, um, come with me. Okay. You shall die. If there is no teamwork, there is no team. Yes, 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 yes. Right. As we're as, as as we're walking around, the, the plan is to lead him a little bit away from the camp. Yeah. So as we're walking away, uh, you know, I've been I've been worried that we're not quite. Um, aware enough of the situation and we often find ourselves vulnerable to attack. So I think I think maybe we should work on preparing better. Okay. What do you have in mind? And as soon as he says that I'm gonna take out my sword and sword. <laughs> oh of course you are. <laughs> yeah. You want <weren't> ready. Okay, yes, right. you, you predicted it too. Right. <laughs> Training right. begins now. Uh, <laughs> right. so, you know, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm gonna okay. draw mine. I, I am. I am obviously trying to hit him with the flat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, I got you. Not trying. Not you already did. I still am. He's cut. Go for the head. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like it. You don't work All right. He might use the blunt side, but he can hit his crazy. Yeah. Sixty. Sixty-five. <laughs> 65, 65, does that hit Sitch? I mean, I'm sure 65, hard enough, definitely. Break his skull. Okay, so... Yeah. You've been hard enough, you can break the skull. You've been, you've been practicing with the flat of the blade for a while. Go ahead and roll a percentage die. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, we'll cut this out. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we are down the part, remember? <laughs> <Right. laughs> like, half 27. 27? Yeah. All right, so you I'm successfully, you, you know, you just kind of love tap him with your sword. You get used to pulling it out, and then instead of going for the straight slash, you turn it and you hit him rough on the roof. Okay, and I'm going to say, you are very good with the bow, but I fear you might be weak up close as I swing again. Shoot! All right, I'm gonna draw. So I'm gonna draw my me with my uh, my rapier while he's talking. Ooh! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Yeah. yeah. I'm not here. All right. All, right. All right, so you try and come at him again, <laughs> but this time, instead of like getting hit right on the rib and you were going for a second time, Stitch, you know, steps out of the way, just out of range. And then I'm going to hit him. Try one of them. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're not as used to this. Yeah, I'm not. Um, oh, he uses all Okay, well. Yeah, sure. He's got no, it's like it's the one where it's like. Yeah. That's a serious. So go for it. Yeah. So first, just rodeo hit. Okay. Uh, it's a plus fifteen rapier. I just want to. Right, right, right. Why haven't you been using that? Bolts from the sky. Descend. Yeah, you can't really come with a toast. Fifty-three. 
Uh, no. Okay. Okay. So you don't land. No. no, no. Okay. So as you go for like a ripaste strike after you are out of range, you realize that you were also out of range to attack him when you stepped back for him to hit you. Bogus Bog said Dave going from one to a hundred right then and there. I would have sworn no warning. <laughs> hey, they must be prepared. <laughs> right. Uh, um, so I'm, you would use I'm, you know, as soon as I see how he's doing, yeah, you know, um, then I'll sort of pull back mm -hmm. and say, "Do you want to you practice a little bit with me?" Don't want that yeah, so let's practice. All right, so now okay. I'm going to go through some martial routines. Right. Okay, and you're going to do that with him. Yeah. Okay. You go ahead and roll. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, I say go ahead and roll prowess and knowledge just to recall like the martial practice that you've done and then mm. prowess to do it properly. Prowess is a nat 12, so that's 35. Okay, sorry, what? 35 on the prowess. Okay, 35 on the prowess. Ooh, strong man. And then what was the other? The other one was knowledge. 14. Oh. 14. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, you know what I'm saying? My okay. So you are you are absolutely doing your martial moves correctly. You're doing your evasions, your taps, your bops, your binks, your bonks, your boonks. You just describe it like that to Stitch because you are sort of hazy on how the person who taught uh, you your martial arts described it to you. But I can show them the form, so <laughs> yeah. it looks good. It don't so sound Stitch, like um, go ahead and roll learning. Yep. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Okay. You um, <laughs> you admire how Monopopo moves <laughs> while he's you know striking the air. Okay. But you can't really wrap your head around what he's trying to describe to you. Okay. Like he tries to do a kick and you just kind of you know stub your toe. On the like my leg you. goes up. <laughs> <laughs> it leaves the ground. Is that I'm not playing. Really now. But regardless, uh, you do learn okay. a little bit about how Mata Topa moves while he's fighting. Okay. You don't learn how to apply that to yourself, but you do get used to how Mata Topa moves during his combat. Huh. Both of you roll insight. You don't want no smoke, Stitch. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we come out, bro. Uh, 28. I would have taken out my one. 29. 29? Okay. Um, <laughs> you guys get the feeling that someone is watching you as you see Liwano walking away. Oh, okay. Back right. towards Kent. And, and now Kim Pam is they clowning. Hey, I'm trying to get these guys ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they dude. like day 2020. <laughs> hey, you like my sword here, technically. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure we're ready, guys. Hey, Sexy Pick was like, dude has no chill. I'm saying, I'm <laughs> like, no. it's all in love, right? Fire stitch, man. Right. And so back at camp, um, Vondra. <laughs> oh, this is going on in chat. Yeah, in the chat. Okay. The chat is hilarious. Nice. Thank you, guys. So back at camp. Um, you are going to be towards, like, right by the uh, river with Talith. He's going to be facing you, and the river is going to be to your guys' left. Mm. All right. So, Vondra, typically when you meditate, you want to take on a sort of pose or a form while you're meditating in order to focus. And so Talith is going to do his, the one where he sits with his legs crossed over one another and his hands up like that. You don't have to copy the pose I do. And in fact, it would be preferred if you take your own. But if you would like to imitate me for this example, I would take no offense to that. So, so to meditate, I have to get comfortable, right? Yes, absolutely. Can I? No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> Pull bedroll. <laughs> I'm not asleep and meditate. Um, I'm going to say. <clears throat> so, could I? Could I go to the water? Oh, you would prefer to be in the water. <clears throat> yes. Um, typically, you would like to be in an environment that you can replicate anywhere to meditate, but if you believe the water would suit you best, then uh, I would not be opposed to that. Okay. And once I'm there, what do I do? Um, once you're in the water, you take, your, <laughs> you take your pose and you concentrate on just 
emptying your head of thoughts. Nothing bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm going to you keep... concentrate on emptying your head. <laughs> so what okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to roll survival to look for some rocks. Uh like big rocks, rocks that would weigh me down. Right. Oh. Uh, and I got a 30. So 30 for your insight? Not, back mm-hmm. Survival. Oh, do you survival. want insight? Um, yeah, go ahead and do an insight. I got a 32 for insight. So 30 survival, 32 right. insight. So the way the deposits are on the river, it's mostly sandy with like little deposits, but uh, you definitely, with that roll, you see more closer to the water, like just below, you see some larger rocks that you could probably lay on yourself. So I want to use rope and tie the rocks to me mm-hmm. and then go into the water. Okay, and is, are, is your head fully submerged? Yeah, I'm going to stay under, like okay. completely under the water. Um, you're going to see Caliph waving his arms as you're, you know, below water. His uh, form looks really disfigured because you're below water and he's above water but he's gonna uh, you know you hear some sort of noise while you're underwater oh okay. you can't really make out what he's doing um my tub is gonna roll inside to see if i see <laughs> mm-hmm. we're coming back in yeah, yeah, yeah. um so 29 just sees him doing this that's what yeah i mean that's what I'm, as he's you, tied um, underwater <laughs> you notice that caliph seems to be Freaking out. Right <laughs> by the river side. Bitch, there's trouble. Let's go. And I'm pulling my sword. See, I told you to be ready. <laughs> oh, he can't tell I told him to be ready. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so I'm going to, so I'm, I'm I gonna guess, go. roll prowess to try and swim with my, like, just put my head above water mm-hmm. to see you right. while the rocks are on, obviously. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Whoo! Uh, 31. Okay, 31? Yeah. Okay, so you do it. You can, like, your arms are strong enough to start swimming up. Do you have swimming proficiencies? Yeah. Okay. I, I have swim. Oh, okay, you have swim. Okay. Yeah. So you're used enough to water to where you can start to pull yourself up even with the rocks on you. Okay. It's a little strenuous while you're treading with the rocks just because of how heavy the ones yeah, you I just, are. Yeah, I'm just trying to stay, like, just put yeah, my head Yeah, you're staying up. above water. Yeah. Um, it might be hard to instruct you on meditation while you're below water. And you would start to hear that as you guys are charging towards the riverside. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, I was like, oh, I just wanted to, I find that uh, I can clear my head when I'm under water a lot better than just ah. standing on land. All right. My apologies. I didn't mean to bother you then. Please continue. I'll but, meditate with you below. Uh, so I'm just, just trying letting to myself show how to sink. meditate? Uh, yeah, just specifically. Just, so I just let myself oh, sink. He takes care. Just, here, why don't you use this? And I'm going to give you my ring to let you breathe underwater. Oh. Uh, if you want to go under the water. Thank you, Monotopa. And then I'll put that on. And then I'll, you know, hesitantly step to the water. And I'll roll mental fortitude to actually go in. <laughs> um, no! Nice! I, I rolled a 12. So Khaled, you know, cracks his neck. Oh. And oh, walks gosh, straight in, awesome. marches in confidently. Nice. You don't have swim? No. Oh, but well, you breathe now. We can breathe so now, don't matter. There. So, you know, Caliph walks in, and because of his weight, he can kind of sink to the bottom. Hmm. And so he's walking in with you. Okay. Um, I'm going to say to him in Dwarven, oh, hopefully you can Are you talking to water? Yeah. You talking to water? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it sounds. It's just, it's just <laughs> a little weird. So, are you, you in your meditative well. stance right now? Well, I was just relaxing. I, I, oh, I was, okay. So I'm you're just, just letting the water like flow. Oh, so, so Mika said, uh, I didn't know that Vandra can breathe underwater. Vandra, why can you breathe underwater? Uh, Vandra is a Rorgan, which means he has uh, one dragon parent and one non dragon parent. My non-dragon parent is a Meiren dwarf, and those dwarves are dwarves that can breathe and live and do a lot of things underwater. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was able to get that in my genetic makeup. Very nice. Right. Okay. Sick. So you're going to see Caliph underwater with you. He's still adjusting his eyes to seeing underwater. You mm-hmm. can tell it kind of irritates him a bit. But he's going to try and get down into his pose. Okay. And he's <laughs> going to... Sorry, <laughs> M- M- Mika was like... The rocks tied to him seem a little dark. <laughs> like, what are you trying to do? No, no, Vondra is average size, and so he would float. 
So in order to allow his body to relax, but also stay underwater, he tied rocks uh, yeah. so he could stay okay. under the water. Yeah, we don't, we don't uh, actually yeah, 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 yeah. There's enough of the triad. It's more like triad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to see Kalif get into his fence, and you're going to hear Kalif say, now you. Uh, Okay, so that's you're just doing that. I'm just confused. I don't know. I don't know what's comfortable to me. Just relax. I'm just okay. So I'm just gonna sit there, and then I'm gonna try and cross my legs. But instead of doing yours, I'm just gonna. Okay, so you just okay. So you're gonna put your hands in your lap and cross your legs. Okay, that's fine. Now go ahead for me and roll Protean and. And it would be protean and performance. Oh, okay. Um, 11 and 9. Uh, 11 protean. Uh, that is a 27 protean. Okay. Uh, performance was 22. Okay. So you feel like with your protean, you're able to focus on your form, and you're also able to focus on, you know, in your head, like, okay, yeah, I can relax and calm down and clear my thoughts. With the water flowing past, too, because you have a mare inside to you, you feel like, okay, this comes a little bit more natural to me when I'm down here. Um, with your performance, performance, sorry, I can't think straight. Sorry. With your performance, you feel like you, your form still needs to be tightened up, but you feel like for just starting off, you can go with this. Hmm. And so now with this, um, are you trying to open up to the spirit realm or the shadow sea? Uh, hmm. I think I'd probably try and do both, but I'm going to try shadow sea first. Okay. Uh, I want to like just really focus while I'm just letting the water pass through and just like sort of get a feel for maybe the fish and yeah. the other life that's around, and then okay. I'm going to think, all right, let me see what's going on in the shadow sea. Go for it. Woo! Um, wait. Does shadow sea take uh, my magical aptitude, or is it specifically magical attunement? I can't remember, because I did both spirits. Uh, I, I think did. it's magical attunement. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, magical uh, attunement. Uh, 25. Okay. So as you do that, you start to get a feel for like the core going on around you. And you'll actually notice that some of the fish, um, they seem to be using core almost instead of swimming. They're like pushing themselves forward against the stream using core. And so you can feel that sort of flow going on around you. Do I hear any whispers or anything? Um, Does that have shadow, uh, shadow form commune? Oh, shadow born commune. Well, shadow sea com the, the next thing that makes me hear whisper. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, Camp Fan. I'll look up what it actually is. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I have um, no, no whispers going on right at the moment. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, then yeah, with that, I, uh, after that, I will go to spirit, the spirit realm. Okay, go for it. Well, not go. Right, open, open myself up. up. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Uh, and Mata Tubble will look over the stick and say, did Shadow I tell him he only comments. has six hours? Ah. Oh, yeah. We did not. Mm. <laughs> it's Shadow Born Common. <laughs> well, the, the, the only it. other person that knows is under there with yeah. them. Right? <laughs> 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 look at the sun. Right oh, right no. <laughs> so with the spirit room, mm -hmm. I got a 30. OK, you got, a, oh, a 30. Yeah. OK, so you would notice that there's um, a larger fish spirit and I, have, and I have spirit commune as well oh yeah I spirit commune as well both, yeah. okay so you would see first of all that caliph is in the spirit realm with you and you will actually see caliph looking at this you know shark that's just flowing down the river mm. Wait, and it's on. it's not doing anything particularly I did. He, he did. did. Now he's going to the spirit room. Oh. Well, and he's he's just opening himself up. He's not physically going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you will see just the shark flowing mm -hmm. down the river, and even the real fish. They're making way for the spirit shark. Oh, uh, I will say, uh, in dwarven, to the spirit shark. 
Oh, hello. Oh, greetings. Oh, so you, you do speak Dorman. I was just taking a guess since, you know, some of my people kind of hang out down here in the waters. <laughs> <laughs> That's plenty of fun. When you go from ocean to ocean through the rivers of the land, you tend to pick up many speaking. Yes, I, I know uh, a the lot of The way you people. bipedals talk, it's very intriguing. Oh, yes, I am. Um, well, I, I also know that there's a tongue amongst the water creatures. Um, Perhaps, uh, what, what was it called? I'm going to roll, uh, mm -hmm. like, what, knowledge learning? What? Um, if for you, it would be knowledge, because as a Maven dwarf, you know, you grew up around uh, your mom a little bit, you would know that. 14. <laughs> 14? Okay. Um, you think it might be tied? Speak Tide or something. Or something. Yeah, like I, I, I know how to get it. Yeah, yeah. The 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 uh, the tongue of, of surf for uh, uh, tides. Um, uh, how cute! I have that language. language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, uh, I I don't really have much experience talking to spirits, and I'm pretty offensive <laughs> when it comes to speaking in general. Uh, but I saw you uh, swimming, and I thought, how majestic. So I wanted to converse with you. Well, thank you for greeting me. I love seeing the travelers. Out of game, Vaughn just really awkward. His charisma is whack. His charisma is whack. His diplomacy is garbage. <laughs> that's the excuse he's going with him. That's what he is. That's what he is. Yes, yes. That is funny. I enjoy meeting new travelers. <laughs> there was uh, a, a party member of mine. He told me that traveling is just wandering with a purpose. Hmm. Very insightful. And what would your name? <laughs> yes. And um, what would your name have happened to have been? My my name? Yes. My name is Vondra. So what's, what's that? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm I'm being quiet. My bad. So, what would your name have happened to have been? My name is Vondra. <laughs> My oh. name is Vondra. <laughs> it is nice to meet you, Vondra. I am Crash. Crash? Yes. Like it Crash, is, but with. It, it's Ash. Crash. Yes. K awesome. R E S H. Because I knew you were about to ask how it was spelled. I was. Let me get that one more time. <laughs> K R E S H. Okay, uh, Sir Kresh. Uh, formalities are beyond the spirit. Ah, oh, awesome, because I'm terrible with that. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. Um, so, uh, Kresh, uh, I you say you travel? I going soon, but I oh, okay. do travel a lot. Well, that in that case. That is currently my purpose, actually. Oh, in that in that case, <laughs> it's like an emotional roller coaster. It's like I have questions. Wait, I must be going. Oh, I guess I'll leave you alone. But there's something intriguing. All right, I have more questions. <laughs> uh, uh, if it's not too much of your time, uh, what pray tell is that purpose? Ah. Uh. Hey, Shadow Hunters, thanks nice for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, there is much currently undergoing in the Chelyoks and lands. And yeah, dude. Let me tell is. you, bro. It's been crazy. It's it's indeed, it has. I'm Vondra. I don't do talking well. <laughs> there are things going on that I cannot explain unto you currently. Now, if you would. Let me go. I must be heading this way. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I shouldn't talk to you here. Crash, it was nice meeting you, bud. Um, hey, do you see that uh, super tall guy? Hmm. The tall one that's like a few feet ahead of me. He's I... like, he's got the braids and the oh, and <laughs> yes, he's uh, <laughs> he's been motioning to me a little bit. <laughs> oh, is that why you gotta go? I was gonna say because I think he's gonna drown soon. He doesn't really know oh, the limitations wow. of that. <laughs> As you say that, Calif is gonna like start trying to swim, 
up. He starts to like wave his arms like valiantly. Uh, oh, do you have swim? No. Oh, oh let me go help him. Uh, as as you see swim, that, swim to help and roll crowd. As you see that, Crush is going to, you know, nod his head farewell and begin yeah. swimming downstream again. So I'm swimming to him to help him. But I rolled three of my insight, so 20. <laughs> you you see something <laughs> wild is going on in right. the river. Because I told Stitch that I was gonna keep an eye. Yeah. All right. So I so I'm so gonna try my prowess. I'm but because of, of the because of the ripples at the top, you can't really make out what's going on under. All right. You see Calif is going to like yeah. lurch his I'm, body I'm towards trying the to river. swim. Yeah, I'm trying to swim him up. Right. So I roll prowess to swim and take him up, and uh-huh. I'm gonna take my wings out for an extra boost while swimming. Go for it. I, I roll. Did, is it prowess or is it um, something else? It would be okay. prowess. Yeah. Okay. I want to wait for the break then. It is thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay. All right. You get your you get your hand around Calif and you take him up out of the water. What's up? So, um, he said take out his wings to help him fly. But Wait, swim. I, mean, I mean swim. Would that help him swim? Because well, yeah, you can catch more water. Yeah, you can catch Which more water. Which is the problem. I'm well, he's, against he's trying to I'm push swimming. back. I'm swimming him up. Yeah. yeah he's up. That's all I'm That's saying. Saying. So the river like... isn't that yeah. deep, so he can just do that like once and then get the boost that he needs to get Cal okay. out, basically. And Monotopa, what you I see know, is Calif lying on the ground, <laughs> like, you know, panicked and coughing, even though it's their dry cough. And you see Sandra carrying him. Okay, I'm gonna run over and um, thank you. And uh, I'm gonna grab Caliph uh-huh. and try to uh, carry him on the shore. <coughs> I'm gonna. Oh my uh, gosh! Son, are you okay? I'm gonna try oh, and just <laughs> like CPR. No, all right, no, not CPR. I was gonna, I was gonna roll men. Yeah, because I have uh, men too. To... Do you have anatomy? Huh? I. I have anatomy. Oh. I was just, I was going to turn him over and... Ah! Yeah, I was... Start being said, how long I'm going to roll men down there? Yeah, well, I do. Just start saying it was, uh... What's that? 29. No, pull that one 29? Okay. I'm going to... Are you okay? Ah! Yeah, I'm going to... I'm sorry. I should look at him and see if that's... Sorry, sorry, I forgot to tell you. You only had six hours with that ring. I think it's, it's really only good. been like yeah. one. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go to him, uh, mm. and I'm going to try and, uh, from the damage and all that, try and damage the boy. Are you okay? Are you okay? Push, uh, yeah, push I can. Some, I can breathe. Just push some some pressure points. I'm gonna to just relieve uh, all that. And then, as Caleb says see. that, you guys are gonna realize it's night. I'm gonna go to bed and take care of this. Ah, well, you should. You should. Mom do... Turpin never used to hit me like that since I was a <laughs> bad kid. Speaking of which, three postcards. Uh, we do not condone child abuse. All right, uh, mm-hmm. I'll do. I'll do first watch. All right, so you'll do first watch. Yeah. Um, Calif is going straight to bed. I wanted to talk to you guys again. <clears throat> so <I'm, clears throat> about the, about the names. I'm, re- I'm really trying to get this thing happen. Yeah. Um, I like it. Yeah, I, like I, th- I think it. I think we should. Yes, but like, but you just hear we need to be able. But you should idea. you should be able to. Uh, we should be able to recognize the names in regular conversation. That way, we can keep our plans to ourselves. Okay. Like if I were to approach an enemy and I said, "Well, uh, the overcast is heavy," then it is the shadow cloud. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I I think. I think if we're going to do it, we should keep it simple because as you start to layer the different things, so it's, if you're going to say shadow, then it should be shadow because if you're saying you know, overcast, you know, the shadow from this cloud is yeah crazy. something like oh. that. And yeah, you know that voice came from somewhere, I see. from the spirit or something. To, yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it was yeah. the shark. Right, right, yes. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I I think that is a good uh, a good thing. The the cloud casts a a, a big a shadow, mighty shadow. Yes, <laughs> upon us, or or things of that nature. That way, we know when we need to. Okay, but even with that, so that be the code. But then, are you telling us to go respond, engage, or just make us aware, or? 
Um, so so I think I think the situation would dictate it. Yes. But we would know that it's it's up to us or to take initiative. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and that could be a way for us to do it in a sort of clandestine way. Yes. I like that. Um, so then we should stick with one name, Sky. So Sky. sky. Wait, Shadow. I thought you were the cloud. No, oh, he sky. said Sky. Okay, so then uh, you are the Sky. And so Shadow. Uh, I am um, either Sun or Dragon. I don't know what you would call me. I, I would probably call you Sun because that's less intimidating. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, we don't you want to give the plan away. And you could call me uh, when I am Jade, uh, Jade. Forest. Forest. Hmm. So, green. Forest. Broad. Yes. All forest. Right. The, 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 the forest is bloody tonight. Bloody. Bloody. And if we said the forest is bloody, then Jade should take action. Jade with. Uh, blood star. Because he's blood. as blood. Mm -hmm. yes. Ah, oh, so I blood. Think that's yeah. on the nose. Well, <laughs> I think that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like that. And he, you guys are going to hear Talith snoring in his. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. In his sleeping bag in the TP we want to set up for us. So I'll point to the TP and say, oh. he seems like a great protector. Some sort of. I thought we had said shield. Yes, I, we've already said shield. 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 Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I guess what should uh, what should Reaper be? Money. Reaper. No, 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 that would be yes. <laughs> no, um, that's the, only, the only person who called me Reaper is him. Well, yeah, but you guys started calling him Reaper. I thought we were using Sight because he he often has. Oh, but that's so boring. Scythe. His weapon as a sight. I see. Yes, yeah, Scythe, yeah. Scythe, 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 Scythe does Scythe. seem to be closer to. Um, so Scythe. And what what do we, what do we call him? Blood star. What is it? Blood. Blood. Or blood. blood. Yes. All right. First star. But... <laughs> yes. Well, they are not there. Those voices. <laughs> yes. Yes. Those weird voices. Fair enough. Talking. I mean, you heard the first one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess we should get some rest. I wanted to train with you guys maybe more tomorrow. That sounds very good. Watch out for this one. Oh, yes? yes. He, what he is, happened? He is not quite as observant as he should. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I'm going to look at Stitch like... <laughs> got that even through the mask. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so uh, who's taking watch? I got first watch. All right, okay. so you've got first watch. Yeah. I will All take right. second. Okay. Um, you're second, and are you going to third or no? Okay, you're doing third. We're doing Got it. Yeah, right. We're staying here that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third. Yep. I guess we should just roll. Well, like... um, yeah, go ahead and roll inside. Oh, wow. Not good. 24. Not good at all. Oh, you, you have got a what? <laughs> 24 of my New character. Oh, you got a 24? Yeah. Okay, Um, you don't see anything. Okay. Can I have a 20? You got a 20? Garbage. You. Um, okay. Voluntary, you go first. Yeah. Because that was the order. Okay. What'd you get? Uh, sorry, 26 didn't roll too well. You got a 26? Okay, that works. Um, Monotopa, you go. Or what did you get? 20. 20? Okay, so. Uh, Stitch. That should not be the most prepared of all my friends. That should not, that never happens. <laughs> right. <laughs> So Stitch, you walk. The night is generally uneventful. You feel like maybe you got a little tired towards the end, but you stood your guard until you saw the moon pass a certain phase, and you went to go wake Vondra up. Okay. Vondra, you get out. You sit pretty vigilant. You know, you watch the fire. Keep it alive right outside the tent while you're watching everything. You know, you stand stalwart. Can I do my normal ritual? Um, your normal ritual. So before I take a full rest, kill the watch. No, no, I, I just cast uh, something on my weapons. And then... Oh, okay, yep, that's fine. I'll let you do that. Okay, okay so you do that. Monotopa, you come out and you get a little drowsy on watch. You um, you notice that while you were on watch. You got kind of tired, and you see from the darkness almost. There's like two 
large looking <laughs> thing. Not not large, like huge, but like maybe about the size of like half of a person kind of flying uh like really close and down low around the tent. And as you wake up, you realize that whatever they were, it was like pecking over the food that you guys were smoking over the fire. Ah, mm. all right. Um I am going to stealth over to it. Oh, right. the okay, so like the um, and so I don't I know to see to try to get a little clearer. You were sitting picture. like next to the fire, and the fire is like right by the tent. Not okay, right so the eyes are tent. like near us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like maybe five feet in front of you that you're watching this happen. Okay. You see um, two things perched by the fire, and they're picking at the food that's hanging over it, being smoked. So inside to see if I. No, or I guess maybe insider survival. Which one? Um, go ahead and roll insight just to see what this is. All right, so I rolled nineteen. You got a nineteen. Um, okay. Because I rolled two, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you see, it's some type of creature that can fly. Okay. Um, I am going to say, uh, eat your fill, um, and be at peace. Mm. Okay. You say that, and yeah, they, you know, you see the creatures look back at you, and as you can see, they sort of peek their head out from their wings that are like covering behind them. You can roll knowledge to see what these are. Okay. Um, man, I've been rolling threes all night. Fourteen. Come 14. on, man. Okay. <laughs> you you would know that's a vulture. There's two of them oh. picking up the food. All right. Mm-hmm. Trying to let it. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let them. Oh. Let them yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Everything just connected. You um. You, <laughs> you see that happen, and you're letting it happen. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, um, after that happens, you guys wake up in the morning. <laughs> we are gonna cut back to the halflings. Oh, in... I just want to say something about the chat. Yeah. Bro. Vogler said, uh, <clears throat> he said, uh, hold on, where is it? Right here. Sleep with one eye open, boys. You never know when Monotopa is going to take down three <laughs> And I was dying. I, I don't think that's funny. You know what I'm saying? I don't see why y'all laughing. Right. Yeah. I'm that. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's like that sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Can't trust <laughs> <laughs> hey, looks like um, there's a Jonesy 316. Hey, uh, yeah. What's up, What's up uh, th- Jonesy? Thanks for finally getting the chance to watch us. We hope you enjoy. Heck yeah. Have right. fun. Stay yourself a while. Welcome. We're just yes. getting back to the halflings. We're still in a bail off. So, the best. you guys. In every capacity of the word. <laughs> the best and almost best. Right. Oh, say that. Oh. Right. So he's like gold and silver. <laughs> yeah, more like bronze. Or... Right. Oh. Yeah, it's more like platinum and copper. And it's 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 <laughs> oh, right. man. All right. So leaving that to you aside, uh, you guys have just left the second fortress on the other side of the cliff. You guys are walking down. You see a path in front of you, and off in the distance, you can see what you assume to be is Maricosa City. It's a giant wall, and from the angle that you guys are at, you can't really see past the wall. Ooh. And off in the distance, you see, you know, the Brachiosaurus with the buildings on it almost. Um, what are you guys doing? Walking to the gate. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so you guys are walking. Just hop over real quick. You guys are walking to the gate. You can tell maybe it's a couple miles off. While you're walking towards this place. You notice that because of the eye, the way it's colored, the light in this splinter plane, it looks different. It makes everything almost look like it has a blue and a grayish tint to it, mm. just because the way that the eye has come down with like god rays through the clouds into the splinter plane. And while you're walking through, you would see some small, you know, halfling villages, and it's it's not necessarily like you can tell it's just some people, you know, living outside of the city, but mainly they would go to the city if they would, you know, go to do trade or something. You know. huh. They come out here, but they get their business and subside from the city. 
and so you are coming towards the city. Roll insight. Well, that would be you as well. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing Sasha. <laughs> you need child. Child. Yeah. 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 Cam Fam can't see what you're doing. You're just like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. yeah. 37. Right. Okay, so you get a 37. What do you get? <laughs> You're in jail. 42. 42. Okay, so you guys look up and you see this wall. Easily 100 feet tall. Huge, giant construct. It's got skeleton of, uh, like, steel. And that's, like, the base frame of it. And then inside that steel, it's got, like, a paisley sort of designed stone. It's not glyphs or anything, but it's, like, a design going across the wall. So you can tell this is pretty heavily fortified. You guys will also notice... Um, another halfling sort of flying, maybe like 25 feet or so in the air at the gate. And he's got his legs crossed, just kind of casually sitting there. Um, you guys would also see that he has the white eyes of the one earlier. Like they look almost the exact same shade and everything. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys do? Don't start killing folks. Uh, I'm just... Wait. He doesn't seem to see you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, you walk forward. Roll mental fortitude. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, louder. I'm gonna uh, keep going too. Right. Okay, mental fortitude. You got a what? You got a 29? Okay, all right. You roll 29 and That's you 20. feel fine walking forward. You also feel fine walking forward. You guys get kind of closer to the halfling. Go ahead and give me another mental fortitude roll. Come on, come on. Fifteen. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Twenty-five. Fifteen and twenty-five. Okay, so you you walked up confidently earlier, and that sort of gave you a boost. As you got closer, it hits you. Just the intense pressure as you walk under this halfling. He hasn't even recognized you yet, but you can tell just from his presence alone. You feel like when you're deep underwater in a pool and your lungs are like, it's harder to breathe in and like you get a headache because the pressure is building. That is what is happening to you right now. Underwater. Okay. You well, know, say underwater. It's like, you know, when you're at Princeton and you're, 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 you're at you're somewhere. Like, okay. Well, basically there. you feel like your lungs <laughs> in your chest cavity are being crushed and you get like a really bad headache. You don't know what he is going on about. So I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> You're just going to keep going? Well, I'm going to enter the city. So like... Okay, so you're going to enter the city, and you're just bowing there. Go ahead. You give me one more roll. <laughs> 29 again. 29? Okay. So what happens for you is as you're right under this halfling's feet, you get just the most, like skull-splitting headache you've had, and you fall down to your knee. And so you guys are just crouching there and you're in pain. What are you guys going to try and do? I'm going to just like not be in pain. You're just going to not be in pain? Yeah. Okay. Ursuline, are you doing anything? I mean, if that's an option. <laughs> okay, so... You guys are there for a second trying to swallow your pride because whatever's going on is just overtaking you guys and the halfling above you guys, you know, he's going to look down, look straight back up, snap his fingers, and you guys feel fine. I uh, see. I'm in bad heart. Just not being pain. Do you say that out loud? No, just thinking it. Yo, you think it? Yeah. You fall directly to your knees again. Nah, I'm good. Actually, no. Go ahead and give me a mental fortitude roll. 19. 19? You fall directly to your knees again. So I'm just going to think it's a little prominent to it. And as that happens again, you are released. That's mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you guys undergo that. Um, so you guys are into the city. What are you two going to try and do? We need them to find, like, a witch doctor or something. Um, okay. So, 
okay. So you guys are going to see guards throughout the city, um, you know. Go ahead and roll inside. On the way there, I'm going to keep my out for like an armor shop or whatever. Okay, go ahead and roll insight, both of you. Uh, uh, 34. Okay, 34 and... 39, oh, sorry, 41. 39 and 41. Okay, so you guys are walking around the city. You see plenty of trade going on. You see guards moving about in groups of four, almost like they're a squad or something waltzing through the streets. You see plenty of shops and carts. You hear normal talking and converse and everyday stuff going on. You, Rastillion, are a little confused because as you're walking around, you hear all the normal, like, you know, movement of a city, like in Kubaiba, but you don't hear any of the tongues or language. Any of the what? You don't hear any of, like, the tongue or the language or people talking or bartering. You, it's almost eerily quiet. Well, no, I don't think I'd be confused because everybody here can... Help us to speak to each other. You, you, so you. That would just make sense. Yeah. That's what cool. But you gotta roll to see if you understand. Yeah. That. Well, wait, but isn't it wait. just like you understand it since your character understands it? Yeah. No, because... what, your, what your character knows and what you know are not always the same thing. Well, yeah, but his character knows that yeah. halflings from here can talk. Like also, that. you are assuming that it's just telepathy. Well, yeah. But he said eerily that's what quiet. I would assume. Yeah, so he said eerily. So yeah. you might have a gut feeling that it's like, eh, even for telepathy, this is not the same right. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's what I would I mean, if you really, I'll roll if you really want me to roll. It, it's, it's, it's cool. You yeah. just noticed hey, that it's quiet. Be the lore you master. Be the lore master. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah. say roll. Yeah. Flex it. Uh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Well, no, you can't peer pressure, pressure him. And just... <laughs> I'm not going to peer pressure him yeah, because yeah, I am yeah, the lore yeah, master. You got to respect the lore Roll, Arc Vile. What am I rolling? Go ahead and roll your knowledge. Actually, no learning. They're the same. Roll them. <laughs> oh. 22. Okay, 22. So you would realize, hmm, yeah, this probably has something to do with what Baylock has done with other halflings and, you know, sort of talking to them, you know, without using their mouths. I'm not even thinking that. It's just, just normal to me. Yep, it's just normal to you. That's so, something you would do. Hmm. I'm going to look for a guard. Okay, so you see, you know, one just sort of standing. Um, he's currently at, like, this, you know, large sort of royal building looking almost. It's very official. You see him standing next to another one, and he's got a spear in his hand. And it looks almost like it's got a chain or something wrapped around it. It's interesting. It's a design you probably wouldn't have seen before in Kubaba. Um, so I'm going to ask, uh, the halfling guard, um, so me and my friend, uh, Baylock are looking for a blood mother. Oh, told. um, you are, we've been briefed about you guys. Uh, you have to head directly to the, um, you guys have to go, uh, yeah, I heard you guys have a uh, really important cargo. Uh, you guys need to go directly to the blood mother at the, uh, necropolis. Okay. Um, that's a uh, that's toward, I know where that is. The 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 necropolis. Would you like me to spell that for you? Necropolis. Uh, um, we're going with necropolis. Okay. Let me get that. All right. So it's N E C. Hold on. Oh, go for it. N E C R O P O L I S. Necropolis. Necropolis. All right, and did you get that down? N E C R O. N E C R O P O L I S. So just how you normally spell Acropolis? It's actually an Acropolis, but okay. Anyway, with that being said, um, yeah, no, uh, you guys are needed almost immediately at the Acropolis. Um, I can call some guards over who can take you over there if you want. Do I know what that is? Um, you can roll knowledge, but you. Probably know where it is. I got a 20, I mean 19. 19? Okay. You know it's in the inner city. As soon as you get within the inner set of walls, you have to, uh, you know, go there. And you'll see it, and you'll recognize it almost immediately. Uh, With that being said, Cam Fam, what? Go on. Go. Are you telling me? No, I, I send a text. Oh, my phone is dead. 
Well, there you go. <laughs> ah, there we go. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> My bad. Wait, um, all right. So, with that being said, um, uh, Cam Fam, we're going to go ahead and take a five, ten minute break. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get snacks. Think of this as like, you know, your intermission. We're going to go ahead, take a couple minutes off. Uh, I have a question for you. Oh, what's up? So, earlier you were talking about. We'll get started about, back at 735. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. Uh, someone, uh, some spirit. I don't remember the name. Uh, Weird. Kim Crash, was it? You do. Yep. Crash. Mm-hmm. So you're talking about Crash earlier. You do. I'm going to talk to him. Okay. okay. You were saying how when time. he was swimming, the fish, even in our realm, were going, like, avoiding it. Yep. Can spirits interact with our realm? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, usually they, like, there are times where they wouldn't choose to just because it's inconvenient for them. But, like, yeah, spirits can absolutely do that. And the more powerful they are, the easier it is. Just like with us. Yeah. So, So, Cam Fam, during this break, we wanted to let you know about our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Game, Guys, go ahead and check it out. Like, follow, tell your friends to like and follow and do things like that. Also, check us out on YouTube, Manchild LTD, where we post these streams uh oh there we go we got the chat going we're gonna post these streams for you guys and other uh behind the scenes stuff and uh getting stuff ready for that also check us out at manchildltd.com uh we got some things in store um some collaborations and things that we've guest starred on and different events that we have and also we have a store where you can buy Things like our handy dandy traveler's compendium, uh, things like our battle wheel and shirts that uh, like Stitch. Go ahead and model the shirt for them. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go, Cam. We also have hoodies, we also have which I would show you, but I lost my. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Both of them. So we have things ready for you guys. Go ahead oh, no, and check I that lost out. one and the other one's ready. <laughs> Good hey, job. Stitch, you trying to find All right, so you want to, hold on. He's, I got to. Yeah, he's going to help me out. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I prefer to fight with So, are you in the Are you on the Amazon server? Wow. Maybe that's what I'm going to play with. Oh, Sasha. <laughs> Sasha should guest star on the stream. I think she would be the new fan favorite. So, should I go to Amazon? Yeah, you can start. Yeah, I still going. Mm-hmm. You're still on there. So I can they still see you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Mm-hmm. Sasha go. Mm-hmm. Sasha. She gone. Okay, so no no no, just leave the leave that alone. Uh are you on Amazon? Yeah. Okay, you want to go to your, uh, at the top of Amazon, go to those three dots, or whatever that you can do for Amazon. Oh, my bad. There you go, yeah, you got to scroll all the way to the top. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't know the page. Yeah. Oh, the st- <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. Mine isn't even technically a computer. Mine is a Chromebook. It's like the hybrid between tablet and computer. Yeah. Doesn't even count. All the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Baby. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. <laughs> oh, it's going up. Yeah. We getting there, Cam yeah. Fam. Three hours later. Cam Lamb, Cam Lamb. Also, thank you for all those who subscribed and just checked out the yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, that was actually uh, like a lot of subscriptions just right at the start. That's yeah. really cool of you guys. I mean, thank Cam Fam so is much. super supportive of you being the LM. Yeah. I'm just saying, you're killing it, by the way. They're, they're probably a little uh, bit more supportive than the half of them. Okay. No, no. Uh, so the three bars right there. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, don't you want to go? You're <laughs> gonna <Right. laughs> go down that menu. Okay, all the way down. Yeah. So you're gonna go down to uh, programs feature see all. See all right there. Okay. Yeah. And then you gotta scroll. Because <laughs> there will be a Twitch list or uh, Amazon game. Uh, 
Do you have it on your phone? No. Okay. That's the shit. Uh, go up a little bit more. Oh, keep going. That should be by past the Amazon Trench Corner. Shop by department. No, uh, it's not shopping. Up a little bit more. TV, Prime Video. Oh, wow, that is not used on the Oh, no, it is. I'm just on the edge for your eyes. Schedule content and devices. It should be somewhere there. Um, go up a little bit more than I guess. No. That's tough for me. I'm just fine. That's so weird. Alright, what's up? What's up? Uh, I can't get him to uh, Amazon Gaming. Amazon Gaming for scripting. Oh, oh. Um. All right. Description. Maybe it is. Yeah, let's try that. I guess. Is there a Twitch? No, lifestyle Twitch. No. Also scripting. Yeah, because you have to. You have to. Maybe search in the search box Amazon Gaming. Uh, so, um, yeah, it might take you to it instead. What are you trying to do? He's trying to, he's got to link his Amazon account to his Twitch and then you can subscribe. Oh, no. did you do this? I thought I was not this one. Yeah, like parsing the last All right. Caliph. Uh, what's up? I just hope we'll train with you. Oh, I want to train with you. I want to train with you guys. I wanted to train. You guys. I literally um, said I wanted to train with you on the board. I mean, I'm, I'm just, you, you're working with the man right here. Wow. Wow. And this is out of the game. I'm oh, just yeah. trying to give Cam Fam a little something. You know what I'm saying? This is out of the game. game. Let's try it on. Let's that. go. We'll try it out. Let's go. Okay. Um, sure. Let me grab my Caliph's Caliph sheet. He didn't. He wasn't ready. You could, right. be, you could be a weaker Vondra, since right. that's what you ought. No, I'm just kidding. Vondra. Oh. And Vondra, let's train. Oh, Vondra okay. and Vondra. Leave, leave me out there. All at once. It'll be a, an impulse. All for all. Okay, impulse. That's all fine. for all. That's pretty for all. Free for all. Woo. Yes, that's what I meant. Um, so I got 28. You're definitely going before me. Okay. <laughs> I got 14. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> I got the roll. All right. Negative. So Let's for go. my impulse, I got a. Uh, thanks for Nick uh, said you're shopping on Amazon. Yep. Did you need my address? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. Actually, he's trying to uh, use his uh, Amazon Prime in order to subscribe to the site. So how far away? away. So that way it's free to him. Oh, we're just trying on each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, so I got 28. You got 23. You got 14. Yep. You're on. Melee. Okay. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So Thank the first friend. thing I'm going to do is tail. To get you smart. guys to fly ten feet so that I can isolate. Okay. Oh, you're gonna okay. try and knock us away with your tail. Yeah. Right. So does a sixty-one hit you? No. No. Okay. And that uh, case, guys, we got we got a about a couple minutes, guys. In that case, you don't get my investment bonus, by the way. That's fine. Okay. Um, neither do we. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, I'll get your vitality. Yeah, yeah, you don't get my go, guys. Back. Come on, let's go. We got yeah, two yeah, minutes we here. We got two minutes. Come on. Okay, no. so I'm going to ready weapon my sheath sword. Okay. And then go for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Plus four. So that's 12. 12. Sorry, I got to do math. Mm -hmm. uh, Three 65. hours later. Five. Oh, slightly better. Okay. A double 12 yeah. is death. That will hit. Great. Instant death. Uh, ooh, well, it's sheathed, so it should buffer the damage, but I hit hard. A double one is also... What do I do to stop the... I guess try not to just hit so you. hard? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're just... I mean, yeah, because I'm just, sparring. Yeah, we're trying to... Yeah, okay. I guess I'll try and half the damage. You can do one all-out hit. No, no! Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, and there's a plus three to hit. It was a 68. I'm sorry. And we are about to... Okay, yeah. well, you take... Uh... Come on, Stitch! Uh, for it. Uh, 23 points of damage. All right. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to, that's the top half. So All fine. right, cool. I'm going to punch you. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's cocked. Okay. Okay. okay so nice. I missed once. Let's go again. You want to punch me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, does a 60 hit? Nope. Okay. Well, we're going to roll again. 
Wait, you well, can punch I'm, and kick? For no, the top half? I'm doing free attacks right now. Oh, okay. I have. Oh, no. Yeah, I have three of those. Um, so that was the first one. Well, that one also misses. Yeah. I'm using my three free attacks. Now I have one. Yeah, I have one that I can use. <laughs> well, I just swung five. No, four times and missed every single one. <laughs> yeah. Bobbing and weaving. You know? And with that, um on, I was gonna sweep. Sorry, go on. What'd okay. You hey. uh, what'd you do? Oh uh, 57. T- hit who? Yeah. You. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm trying to gang up on me. I'm and not you gonna miss. Hit my yeah, the one who hit me, of course I would hit you. But because you, you all, all right. were up. All right, right. we're gonna murder all of this. This is gonna be for afterwards. You'll get your vengeance. Oh, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, yeah, no, you are uh, you are the happenings with Wahuru. I can get a group of gods to escort you uh, straight to the necropolis if you'd like. I think we'll be fine. Um, uh, or we can make the cars, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, the Blood Mother really wanted you guys to get here as fast as possible. I'll get some guards to come with you. And then he'll call over like a platoon, and then they'll come over at attention, and he'll yell at them, you have to get these boys to the necropolis. I don't want to see a single mark on them. And then they'll say, sir, yes, sir. And then they'll start walking you towards it. And you'll kind of notice, just while you're walking through the streets, like people don't get in these guys' way. And they're holding the same sort of spears earlier that that guy was as well. With, like, the chain wrapped around it between the handle part and the metal part that they would use to stab. So, um, uh, you guys are heading, and you see the inner city wall inside. It's still as tall, but it looks a lot more ornate on the stone panels. You see, you know, maybe what you would tell to be stories being told through imagery in the stone carvings. And you still see those metal, you know, scaffolding, skeletal structures that the stone is placed in between. So as we're walking to the <laughs> necropolis, I want to go and roll magical attunement. Mm-hmm. I mean, not magical. Spirit sensitivity. Spirit sensitivity. Um, okay. To try and see, like, to what's the vibe stuff. here. What's the vibe here? Okay, that's fair. Um, so that's going to be a 29. Good job. Okay, 29. So um, you attune to the spirits, and you see that all of, like, the normal spirits, you know, stuff like spirit grasshopper, spirit birds, you know, spirit deer, sort of, they're all gawking. And it's almost insane just how, like, circle-y, like, close-knit they are. They're all staring at one halfling, and that halfling has white eyes. And so you would know that it's an amaranthian. Yeah. And How do you spell that? oh, um, an amphorian. That's okay. E-M-E-R. Okay, well, you yeah. already are just wrong. I thought that's what you said. No, it is a m a r a n t h i a n. He said, "I got it." E, you are an. <laughs> that was so messed up. Right. Minus EP. You gonna steal it? Yeah, I'm stealing EP, bro. Oh man, that's crazy. Oh, can we make that a spell? EP steal? Uh, no. I'm saying it would be pretty. Cool. <laughs> I would learn it. All right. Do you have that written down? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Here. So you, you notice this, and um, you can't really gauge what the spirits are doing just because you see all of them just staring in awe at this one halfling, mm-hmm. and it's actually a halfling in front of you. The guards are currently waiting for him to be done speaking. Um, the way the wall is set up, there's like locked doors, sort of like the ones you saw at the fortress. And there's two guards and they're sort of in a guard hut outside of the wall by the buildings outside of the wall. And they are, the guards are talking to the Amaranthine and you'll see the Amaranthine pull out like a leather bound book and he will show something to the guards and then he'll close it and then put it away in his bag and then they'll, you know, let him through. And then, you know, do you guys want to do something for that? Or? Uh, can I roll inside to see what's on the, the book? Um, sure. I'm going to do that too. I roll one. Literally. Okay, yeah. you rolled a 1. And what was that? 28. Okay, so you see the interaction. You don't know what happened though. I got a 40. You got a 40? You 
and I have illiteracy. Oh. Are you literate in Cholu, though? He doesn't even know Cholu. Um, hold up. Watch it. Do you know the language of Celestials? <laughs> no. Yeah, we got definitely. one person. No. Okay, so <laughs> you no, see. It does not have eternal. <laughs> it's fine. You'll see okay. that there is a sketch of some sort of. Okay, so you'll see that there's some sort of sketch of a monstrous looking creature. It, you know, it looks really well drawn, but it looks grotesque. And that's all you can make out. So, hey, Alex, uh, Alex, yes, Garth, <laughs> sure. but cough, uh, just subscribe. Thank you. I'm sorry Thank I you. butchered that. No, Thank Alex Gas. Uh, yeah, Alex, Alex Gas starts cough. There we go. Yeah, my bad. Scarf scoff. But thank you. Oh, that that's it. Um, I don't know. As we take twenty minutes to write, <laughs> this is not why we have problems spelling things yeah. in the show, right? Thank you, thank you. Right, thank you. So gotta like keep it simple, like Ted or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's it's... just like say Alex. <laughs> well, there, there you go. There you go. So anyway, that halfling shows his book, puts it back in his bag, and then starts walking into through the door it opens and then it you know slowly you hear the gears turning and everything water steaming and then it clamps right back down as the guards come to speak to the guys at the guard house and they you know mumble some royal official jargon about you know having to let you guys through for the blood mother and you know they turn the gear back and the door begins to open and they escort you guys through and then you guys hear the door clamp behind you Go ahead and roll it. Yes, sir. And it is Sasha's now. <laughs> <laughs> it has gone it to Chaho. Uh -oh. It was a five? No, no. That's pretty good. Cool. All right. So. Oh, oh my insight was a. Was, was that from 40. my dice? Oh, uh, yeah. I was looking for that. Oh, it's no, okay. You're going to stop the stream. I'm going to stop your the dice. Stream. I was looking, okay. I was looking so, for the dice. <laughs> You guys, um, what did you roll? 36. 36? Okay, what did you get? 40. 40, okay. So you guys both will see and look around, and you see that the buildings on the inside of the city, they're a lot more ornate. Like, you see gold, like, scattered throughout the edges of the buildings and, like, the frames, and it's almost like it's, you know, just all of the royal halflings or, like, you know, the high importance ones flexing their wealth on the inside. And you will see. So where I would be. <laughs> sure. Um, you say that, but you're like the poorest person in the party. Towards the right. Really you yeah. are you still looking in the spirit realm? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what you will see is, you know, <laughs> spirits with more power almost, and they are interacting with halflings over towards the right. You'll see that the river flows through the city, and oh. that the houses over on this side they're like mounds that go up into the sky. And their houses that halflings build around these mounds. They have hmm. steps going up and into them. And you'll see flying spirits, you know, going from these sort of mounds to mounds and just discussing with the halflings over there. Okay. And so you guys will be walking forward with the guards, and you will see this huge mound. And it's over towards that side of the city very large and instead of being more so bare like the mounds with like the attachments built into it so it can be a house this is huge and ornate it has rings placed around the mound on the outside building up into it and in the stone it's painted red mm. and so you guys are coming towards that and you see these huge wooden doors with like the knocker sort of uh handles and you see two heavily armed halfling guards like these guys are sharp to the teeth they have one spear on either hip one on their back and one on their arms and they look like they're armed to the teeth it's a mix of uh halfling flex right <laughs> yep we don't play in maricosa <laughs> yeah they don't mm -hmm. so you see these guards um the ones that you're with they walk towards these guys they just nod don't even say a word um you hear them talking telepathically. Um, it's just some stuff like hand them over to the blood mother. And so oh, that's me. And so the two heavily armed guards, they open the doors with all their strength and they the normal guards usher you guys in. 
So, so I have a question. That What's game. Up? Um, obviously, because I'm not there. The, the telepathy that your kind of halfling can do is sort of like a channel, sort of like a radio signal. Because, like, if, if they're speaking telepathically and he can hear, is it just like them allowing him to hear, or is it just like yeah, because it, he you, has? You can, it's a you can cut channel. down and focus on somebody. Like, if you're whispering, like, it's just yeah, he's not talk, trying, yeah. but right now they're just talking open air for them, which is normal. Oh, yeah. So that's so that's yeah. why they can hear. So that's why that's why there's no no noise. He's not hearing anything. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, all they talking can, with their minds. I right. see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Sorry. So you guys so enter this place. And opposed to the outside, where there was like the white gleam coming down from the eye, mm -hmm. it is dark in here, and it looks almost like there's a haze of red inside. And you see that everything inside is made of ornate stone. You'll see pedestals with paintings on it, and it all looks like it's very precisely cut stone, almost like it's marble. And it's, you know, it's dark, but it's got like a red glowish sort of haze just emanating around the place. And you guys are going down a really um, easily sloped set of stairs and it's coming towards a sort of close at the end of the hall. Hmm. And what are you guys doing? All right. I don't know. I'm wrong. Oh, I'm just gonna be walking. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna follow the guards. Here. Oh no, the guards, they were outside. It's just you guys right now. Uh, just walk. Alright, so you're just walking towards in? Yeah, just to the hallway. So as you guys go in further. Hey, Savage Black said, uh, don't go there, guys. I see death ahead. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, no, we'll we'll have to. Okay, so you guys are walking forward. Roll in sight. Okay. 30. Uh, okay, 37. 37, 30, okay. So you guys I are walking in. Yeah. What you see is that slowly the stone starts to get less and less well cut and it looks more like it's cave-like. And so you guys are walking in and you come to the end of the hallway and it's a big open room. And in the room, the floor is a little bit dirty-ish and you can see that around the room towards the edge, there's trees with like red leaves and gray bark. And in the middle of the room, you will see that there's just a huge pool of blood. And it looks, at first it would be gross to you guys, but then you kind of I realize, yeah. go. Really well, okay, so Bastillion, it would be foreign to you because you're yeah. not from Maricosa. And so to you, you would think it's a little weird. And then you start to think about like your you know, how halflings are born, and you're like, oh, well, this is just normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so as that happens, you guys... A little, like... <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. 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 So much blood. And so you guys are standing on the outer ring of land as opposed to, like, the pool of blood in the ground. And what you guys will see is a hole, almost, like, perfectly cut a circle in the middle of the pool. And what you will see is a halfling just standing still, floating up out of the blood of water. The pool of water. The pool of blood. We know where you're going with that. It's all right. The pool of blood. And you will see this halfling. She has straight black hair curled down. Cool. And she has a white dress on. And she's well adorned with basic jewelry. And her eyes are white and her veins are pulsing white as well. And you will see that her veins start to pulse faster and faster until eventually it just gets so bright to you guys that you can't see what's going on in front of you. Roll mental fortitude. Okay, 20. 30 and 20. Okay, so right now you guys are like completely blind and you cannot see what's going on in front of you. Okay. And you will hear a voice echoing through the uh, the sort of 
I don't want to say tomb that you're in, but the cave that you're in. I am the blood mother of Indrasella. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> this is right here. Yeah. Trying to get the pad of paper out. It's a, it's a R I N. This is slow enough, right? No. Yes. D R I S. E L L A. Arindra Sella. Not gonna lie, I almost missed it. <laughs> Arindra I'm writing Sella. Blood Mother. Okay. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. So Arindra Sela, the birth mother. Are you guys done writing? I see some pencil still moving. Uh, uh, yeah, we're making sure we got these birth, notes. The birth mother. <laughs> okay. I am Arindra Sela, and I am the birth mother. You must be Rastillian Coinshot, and you, Baylock Bloodstar. Am I right? Yeah. I believe... Oh, it's the birth mother. She's talking out loud. Um, yeah, she's talking out loud. And in fact, while she's talking, you guys can roll insight. There's been a lot of insight. Well, you gotta be looking. Ever oh, yeah. I literally roll as long as I can. Uh, okay. well, 36. You were boinking. So to you, she just sounds particularly loud. To you, Rastillian, you can tell that her voice, it sounds like the way she's talking there's more voices than just hers. Almost like her vocal cords, they're projecting sounds that bounce off of the walls and like they all come at your ear at once. So it's like her talking, but like maybe 400 of her voice. Mm. That's something. And so um, go ahead and roll magic resistance, both of you. Okay. I got this. One. You don't got this. Yeah, okay. So what's it? What is it? I got a one. It doesn't. What's the total? 35. Okay. I got a 38. 35 and 38. Okay. Be nice. Um, so both of you both feel this, and you can't quite tell what it is. You feel this burning sensation across your guys' face, and then it feels really cold. As you take twenty six points of vitality damage. Dang. Y'all good. Baby damage. Right? Uh oh. Halflings. Y'all supposed okay. to be the best. Okay. Halflings as privileged as yourselves to carry the future colonies of halflings and halfling kind in its entirety do not have the privilege to be arrogant towards the amaranthine of Maricosa. Do we understand each other? Um, I'm gonna roll charisma, and you don't get to roll charisma. Then I'm gonna. It ask would be persuasion. When? Well, no. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say no to you, but <laughs> she's not attracted to you. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay, I get it. I, get it. I mean, if you want to talk to well, her, you can go ahead and use words. I wasn't trying to persuade her to think something. I was just trying to come off as respectful. As I could. Oh yeah, then, then wouldn't that be diplomacy? You could, I mean, use, I could do diplomacy. I'm you could try and do diplomacy then. But you'd also so need to talk to her. Yeah, too. you would have to. Well, I'm aware of what that I was rolling. Yeah, go ahead and roll then. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it's amazing. Um, thirty-four. Thirty-four. Okay, and what are you saying to the birth oh. mother? Oh. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, when was I disrespectful or arrogant? The both of you need to show respect for those at Mar Maricosa. I show nothing about respect. This is new to me. And why would I begin a new relationship with a part of me, a part of my heritage, disrespectfully? I'm, I don't want to say that you're mistaken, but I just don't recall any time I was disrespectful or at least intentionally disrespectful to anything that you or your people have done. I will say to you that as a party, you both are reflections of one another. That being said, 
If you wish to continue, we have important business to be done here. Mm -hmm. And you guys will be able to see again after the pounding lights, her veins and like the colors of her body start to tone down. And you guys can, you know, start to see again. You guys rub your eyes and it's, it's dark in the room. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but because of her white dress, it's unstained by the blood, by the way, after she comes up, you see her just floating above the water. Like she's standing on air, basically. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to ask what we do. Well, I believe you have something that needs to enter the blood pool. And mm -hmm. so... What's that? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm trying to use the voice. I believe you both have something that needs to enter the blood pool. Daylock, would you be as so kind as to enter the blood pool first? Yep, okay. And she is going to walk forwards on the air or her legs don't even move she's just like moving through the air towards you mm -hmm. and she's going to take your hand and she's going to slowly move towards like backwards into the pool of blood not like into it but just floating above it while she's holding your hand and when she's holding your hand it's going to be a firm grasp not one that's painfully hard but you definitely feel she's holding you yeah, OG, OG drummer said they might die. Uh, it we'll looks kind of hairy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is I'll a little. Fine. All right, so you enter the pool, and as soon as you're like towards the middle of it, she chants something in a dialect of halfling that is. You you can hear the accents and the way she's talking sounds like it's halfling but you have no clue what she's saying. And so you assume you could roll learning to figure this out. Uh, that's 18. Okay, so you would realize this uh, is probably- no, learning? Yeah. 13. Oh, okay. You <laughs> just hear her talking. It sounds like Halfling, <laughs> but like a variant of Halfling you've never heard before. And so as she does that, you are in the middle of the pool. And almost immediately, you feel her hand tighten around yours. And it feels painful to you as she lets go. And you see her, like, hunching over. Like, earlier, her dress, like, the way she was standing, her dress was almost like it was against the floor or something. Now it's hanging down. And the way the room is designed, there's a hole directly above, almost like a volcano. And from that, you guys will hear what sounds like an entire city of halflings screaming and just shouting as from your body, roll insight. Uh, 20, no, 36. Okay, so you realize that from your hand, she like started to pull blood from it and your blood, instead of being red, like it usually is, it's black and it is sticky and it starts to harden almost like ichor. And as it's coming from you, it just flows from your hand into the pool and it starts to cover you. Go ahead and roll endurance. It's not like this at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not a good situation to be in. 14. 14? Okay. So the way you're like in the blood, you're stuck and you have no clue what is going on. You still see the like black blood flowing from your body and into the pool. You guys will start to hear the guards from the door that was from the one you came in and you just hear them screaming intensely and like you hear banging on the door outside. Like intense banging, and you hear, you know, in half length, birth mother, please. Ah! Ah! And that sounds painful, very painful. Yes, from the halflings, mm -hmm. I'm fine, right? You don't feel a thing, so you start to feel just awful things going on from your body, and while you don't feel pain, you are stuck. Okay. So, and you notice that Arintra Sella, she can't even make herself move properly. 
So what are you guys um, doing? Come on, stay in jail. Okay, there, there's a net. Sorry. I've been following it. I've been following it. I was like, I, I see thought, it, I, and I was ready. I, I thought you were trying to, like, tell oh, them no. something. I was no, I'm sorry. I literally, it caught my attention, and I was like, oh, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> That's fine. So you guys hear this horrible screaming coming from the city. You hear banging on the door. And Rastillion's blood is starting to bubble well, in the pool. My blood. I'm gonna try and like move it away from me. You can't. What? You're unable to move yourself right now. No, no, not move myself. Move my blood. You're unable like to. With my brand. Your brand. It almost looks like. Usually, you can see it on your body really well, just because of the way it's been growing and developing. But in the pool of blood, it almost looks dull right now the way the ichor is like just flowing from your body it looks like it's drained the energy from your brand right now i don't like that well i guess we're doing first day here so uh, we need to do half things in our room <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we don't know what they're doing no, i'm coming back to the so i'm gonna teleport to the door <laughs> you're gonna teleport to the door yeah, it's Roll be, right? insight before you do that. <laughs> um, 33. I mean, sorry, 34. Okay, 34. <laughs> so you're going to notice almost like it's instinct that the trees in the room, the leaves, it feels like, are almost calling to you. Rastillion, what is your purpose? As you see them start to riffle a little bit. Talking to me in what? Prime. Sense. Um, can you run back so what, what it says real quick? Rastillion, remember your purpose. It almost sounds like it's coming in on the wind. That's three U's in purpose, by the way. Yeah. You know how <laughs> 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 Purpose. Okay, um, so, I know what I, what I'm supposed to, I don't know, like, why. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna try and move the leaves. Mm -hmm. So, alchemy. Um, go for it, yep. That was a four. No, it was totally fucked. I mean, I'll use the four. Go for it. Uh, 22. 22. Okay. So you make them move. Yeah. Okay. So you make these red leaves move, but they don't move in the way you want them to. Instead of that, they're flowing in a circle around the room. And it's not all of the leaves, just like a couple coming off. They're flowing around. And as they get to you, they're moving towards the blood pool. And then they're going back into the flow. Of the cyclone of leaves across the room. Do the um, do the leaves? I, I roll knowledge or learning to see if the leaves look like the leaf that was taken from me after mm. the thing did the thing. Mm -hmm. That was very clear. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you mean. There were some things can't uh, <laughs> The leaf may or may not look like a thing. And it did something. Well, I mean, does it look like the leaf that came out of me? after I was attacked by a group of vines coming from a certain thing that I don't remember what it was. Out well, of game. Sound like you were the victim. Out of game. It would not. It, it, uh, yeah, I was just about to say that. They do not. Okay. Um, I didn't know if you remember what he was referring to. I, don't, I know exactly what he's talking okay. about. So, um, I'll speak on Prime. Um, I know my purpose, but why am I doing this? You will it's you will perfect. hear the leaves hiss back louder. Defender, defend. And then the wind in the room that's carrying the leaves. You don't feel the wind, but you see the leaves flowing. That will start to kick up as the leaves like start to pile at your feet. And then as they pile at your feet, they flow back up into the like hike of the room again. Oh, that'd be crazy. The leaves started like barking at you. Um, so, 
the leaves are just. I'm gonna try to get more leaves. I'm gonna try to get all of the leaves. All okay. Um, 22 again. Okay, 22. As you do this, you get the instinct almost to place your foot on the leaves. Are you going to do that or no? Yeah. Okay. So as you place your foot on the pile of leaves, a new pile is going to form to the left of where you place your foot. I'll just walk on the piles if there are more. Okay. So as you do that, the leaves are going to form in that sort of step pattern, and then they're going to keep placing themselves until you get to the foot, like the very last inch of the blood pool. Keep in mind, you hear screaming going on around you. The blood mother even is trying to keep in her whimpers. You hear intense banging at the door. So I'm going to, um, in prime, I'm going to say, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get in here. So that's what I'm going to do. But fair warning. God. Wait, hold on. Here's my warning. You just hear the entire city around oh. you, like, dying fervently, and you're like, okay, hold up, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna try something. I'm sorry if it doesn't work. No, no, I wasn't. I didn't he didn't even say work. that. He just said warning. <laughs> I'm gonna try this, but if it doesn't work, go to Kubaiba and kill my family. No, tell my <laughs> uncle what happened. <laughs> Why would I ask oh. to kill my family? It sounded like you wanted to anyway, so I'm going to jump into the pool. Oh, so you jump into the pool? Okay. So you jump into the pool, and almost immediately as you do, the wind starts to pick up around you, and the leaves form a cyclone above your head. And so they're like flowing like a tornado above you, if that makes any sense. And so while that's happening your blood flows from your hand the same way it was from Baylock, but as opposed to being black and Icarus, it's sort of a brighter color than what was in the pool originally. It's almost like a pink Mm -hmm. just flowing from your body into the pool. And so as that's happening, it starts to flow through and almost immediately it seeks out the black Icarus blood and it like latches itself to it and it starts to <clears throat> almost detach from itself and get less sticky. And as opposed to clotting up the way it was earlier, it starts to turn into like a darker shade of red blood, but it's still very dark blood. And so as that happens, you guys are still combating, but you see the birth mother almost stop to like stop tensing up a little bit and so as opposed to like writhing the way she was earlier she looks more like she was just really shaken up (laughs) um you start to feel yourself almost coming free again and as you guys do this (laughs) as as the pink blood is flowing and mixing with the black blood it starts to die down the noise and the banging and all of the screaming even the birth mother is starting to relax um savage black said this is getting intense and then pixie mix said don't telegraph the punch (laughs) don't (laughs) telegraph the punch (laughs) right so while that's happening you guys start to hear everything die down orange rasilla she looks completely worn out but she's still floating above the water. Um, while you guys are doing that, what are you guys doing? So can I move now? Um, you can start to feel your body loosen up a little bit. You can't do any like extreme range of movements, but you can, you know, flex how your body pool. moves a little bit. Just trying to get on dry land. Oh, you're trying to get out? Yeah. You're well, not able to move I've that far. I've never seen blood start mm-hmm. leave blood. <laughs> um, that's really interesting so am, am i still losing the pinkish stuff or is it I'm trying to stop pink blood is still stuff, leaving right? from you but you don't feel I'm drained by person. the pink blood leaving from you uh, i'm gonna try and amplify the rate of the bell. oh so you're going to try and increase that yeah like quick out, i guess um okay uh go ahead and roll alchemy that's how i 
Um, twenty-eight. What was your base roll? Seven. Okay, so you see the leaves forming a cyclone above your head. Um, they start to form a symbol almost above you as the blood starts to flow a little faster. It's not like. It's not like it's gushing out of your hand like a blast, but you start to see the rate of it flow a little faster. As you can see, even your veins in your arm are pumping the blood out quicker. Um, can I... Can I tell that I would be losing my ability? What? Because, like, my ability came from the, um, cocoon. Could I tell that it was like weakening so I know what's up or if it's not. Oh, um, you don't know anything about that right now. Oh, Fix and Mix was asking, uh, does Baylock have the pink blood? <coughs> no, no, no. No, so I have the black blood. Baylock has the black licorice blood, the gross stuff. Okay. Um, and so Rustillion has the pink blood. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to try and use it to see if it's as powerful. Um, as you start to use it, it feels almost like just a faint glow of what it used to be. And as the last drops of blood flow from your hand, you feel like it's a, almost a nostalgic memory when you try to use it. Like it's something, you know, that's in the past. Okay. Okay. Sweet. All right. So as that happens, you guys are in the pool. You start to feel your muscles relax as the ichor um, calms down a bit. Now it's completely liquidish blood. You guys start to feel yourselves rise up out of the pool. And the way you guys were standing is the same, but now you're standing on top of the blood. As there's a pink layer of blood at the very top, but because of the way that the blood is almost translucent, you can see black blood right below that layer of pink blood. And then below that would have been all the normal blood. And so you guys are just standing, like, normally on this pool of blood. The birth mother is still standing, like, an easy foot above that pool. But what's happening with you guys is you're standing on it, almost like oil on water. And so I'm going to step off of it. Oh, before you do that, the birth mother is going to grab your hand. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here. <laughs> you... You are an essential building block of this universe. You are something I... This is impossible to comprehend. Look at Rastillion. It happens when you're too awesome. Do you, and then you see like the glow in her eyes. It almost dulls for a second, like she just can't comprehend what's going on. Do you know what you are? No. Huh. Awesome. Well, I, I thought <laughs> I, I, I thought that. Have to think, but uh, you are so uh, that's in question now. so so much more than a halfling. You and, yeah. are an element. Oops. That's cool. You are the element of blood. Dang. Write that down. <laughs> 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 Honestly, no, that was smart. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And, and <laughs> as, as she says that, you hear that the way her voice was loud earlier, like it was echoing off the walls, that is completely her saying that. Like her voice gets quiet and timid and everything, as opposed to like the a stout confidence Wait, she had she earlier. Said essential building block of the universe? Yes. Okay. You're a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Lego. Lego. Dude, when people like step on you, you do <laughs> like 27 damage. <laughs> right? So, no, no physical damage, it's all mental damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sheds tears. And so, as she says that, her voice, it's like her voice alone, almost like that confidence she was exuding earlier, has left her. And she doesn't know what to make of this at all. As she says that, she's going to put a hole like right by your neck with her fingernail and just like easily, you know, thumb by the carotid, 
she is going to produce a bowl and it's just like a ceremonial bowl that would have been sitting on one of the pedestals on the hallway that you guys were coming in on. She's going to put her hand on and almost immediately this thing comes flying to her like at an instant just and she's going to put that out. She's going to put the bowl under your carotid where it's bleeding. It's bleeding into the bowl. And then as soon as it's all the way full to the very brim, she's going to move it up without spilling a single drop. She's going to put her finger back over your carotid. It's going to heal. And then she's going to lift the bowl up, take her hand down. The bowl is floating. A hole is going to open in the pool of blood. And that is going to flow down into the pool as it closes over it. Oh, we gotta kill her. She just blood. stole blood. Why? No, how that works? As that happens, <laughs> you guys immediately hear the doors bust down to the necropolis. As you guys hear easily like 100 sets of voices at the entrance, as you see guards flooding the hallway with spears. I didn't do it this time. <laughs> so- Oh, cutting to the rest of all Huru. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Out of game, do you think I could get her like to repair my armor since I'm a? <laughs> oh my goodness! I am. I am. I love how your priorities are in order. <laughs> you just. That I just found out I'm a blood elemental. Why can you fix this armor? No, I'm a blood <laughs> element. Not oh, even just gotcha. an elemental. I gotcha. Oh yeah, yeah. I am blood itself. Uh huh. So while that's going on, um, you guys, uh, that would be Monopopa, Caliph, Stitch, and Vondra, you know, led by Liwano. You guys wake up in the morning. Liwano is, you know, hours ahead of you guys. He wakes up. You see him just, you know, sort of standing around. Um, he would be right now looking at Mako while they're discussing things, you know, you assume. Um, and then like as soon as... I think we should get on the road. Okay, uh, uh, I would be wise of you, Wahuru. We have many a day travel to go. Oh, well, dang it. I guess while we travel, yeah. we'll have opportunity to train. Okay, yes. Yeah. Well, let's travel. So, you guys, you know, you travel easily for an entire day. You guys get to see the landscapes of uh, uh, Chaliuxen. You know, you guys pass by a cliff face. You get to look out and see the beautiful rivers. and the cliff face? Do we... Are we going, like, across it, but in a different way, or are we... No, 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 we're not going to cross it, we're just walking alongside it. Dang it! And you start to see the terrain gets a little more mountainous. Can I have some fun with the cliff face? Sure, what fun do we... <laughs> what, 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 how, how much fun are we talking? I'm talking, like, turn to Jade and, like, jump off the cliff, like, use my boost to jump off the cliff. And then in midair, turn to Vondra, spread my wings, and fly up. <laughs> and then come back. Do some he, stuff he, like that. You just see Jade trying to commit suicide <laughs> again. He wants to do this all while I'm the lore master for like my first time with the lore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Um, Are you fixing things like the, like the reveal of the blood element thing. Yes. She said mind blown at the well lore game. Mm-hmm. Very nice. So we need Great job, sir. Thank you. Well, I so, always knew that I was. Well, there's the a bunch of Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, didn't know so. nothing. So. I'm pretty um, much a god. As you turn into jade form and you walk towards the cliff face, mm-hmm. you see. Well, roll insight. You might not see it. No, I got one. <laughs> okay, so you walk up to the cliff face. Okay. I'm going to jump off. <laughs> as soon as you try to jump off, you get your feet, like, maybe a foot off the ground as you see Liwano's hand reach out for, like, the back of your clothing. So, like, if you had a hood or something, he'd be holding you by that. If not, he's just going to hold you by the back of your collar. So, by my cloak. Mm-hmm. By your cloak. So your hood. So your hood. I guess. Yeah, the hood. Of okay, the hood. that would be the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting stuck on this guy. Yeah. So he's going to lift you back up and place you onto the ground. There will be many times for trials later. <laughs> Currently, we should go see the Syndicate. Oh yeah, I just oh. I was trying to go see it. Oh guys, along the way. My bad. Sorry, we we uh we had traumatized one of our our viewers here. Uh, Mika Butler said that that blood scene was so real that she almost fainted. You know what I'm <laughs> She's a little squeamish with the blood, so uh, apologies, but that was all on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you put it in my 
Да, да, I admire your adventuresses, but we currently have a task at hand. Okay, can I at least fly towards the task then? Alright, uh, Matatopa is gonna be like, yeah, I mean, y'all knew, y'all knew! So I'm gonna cast Concealment, or Conceal, yeah, Concealment on myself, and I'm gonna jump and instead of going around the cliff, the direction that we're traveling. So, spell dominance. Oh, Oh, okay. Oh, that was tough. No. You win. Yeah. There he goes again. Levano, look at that guy. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, I was rolling spell dominance, not magic resistance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought you, you were saying. <laughs> no, your, your concealment was against. Oh, you know, so spell dominance. My bad. Hey, 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 Tim, 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 since he cast a spell, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. he has to roll spell dominance to see if it affects anybody else. Got it. And so Montopa rolled magic resistance. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. Because uh, I rolled 17. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was yeah. really, really bad. Like, <laughs> low. I got you. All right, so. And start He's all... like, hey, let's go back. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys are traveling. You set up camp for another night. You guys can tell this is definitely a far distance. Who's going to be doing watch? Yes, I. Yep, I'll do watch. I won't go first this time. Um, Caliph would like to try and take a watch. I'll do the last one if you don't say okay uh, well, I guess I will go first. In the morning. As, um, as we lay down, um, Matatopa is going to open himself up to a spirit realm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to try to uh, sort of extend my understanding of the spirit realm a little bit. Yeah. Searching for like spirit type creatures. Uh, mm-hmm. Animals, mostly. Um, around us, you would see the usual spirits. There would be some. Can you roll anything, or um, yeah, I don't have to. If you don't want me to. Um, I mean, you can go ahead and roll, sure. Yeah. Naturism is my magical aptitude. Mm-hmm. So 28, 29. 28, 29? Yeah. Okay. So, around you, you'll see, you know, the typical spirits. There'll be some birds flying around. You'll see, you know, maybe a couple critters going across the ground in the spirit realm. Um, you will notice that usually when you enter the spirit realm, Liwana's presence sort of feels heavier when he's around you. Mm. You notice that that weight of his presence in the spirit realm, because you would have seen how uh, he has, you know, whatever he has going on, uh, you notice that that isn't in the tent with you while you guys are sleeping. Huh. Sure. Interesting. Um, I am going to just look around to see if I can see it anywhere. Um, you're going to try mm-hmm. and see it. Once Roll. Oh. Uh, Pixie Mike just asked resistance versus dominance. Um, and so did you oh. want to explain what that was? To um, you? Actually, it's who wants to explain magic resistance? Uh, you didn't give me that extra twenty feet that like you were talking about. Uh, I don't have to give you anything. Uh, but you Ooh. said that you would. Uh, mm, that's not what I said. Uh, you said we would work it out. So anyway, spell yeah. dominance okay. versus magic resistance. So go for it. Uh, I raise uh, my hand first. Uh, well, fair. then are you going to explain? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> spell okay. dominance. Uh, <laughs> spell dominance is uh, the. Eff- is uh, how well your spell that you cast uh, will be against someone else. And the magic resistance is how well they can resist it. And so spell dominance versus magic resistance is seeing if your spell will attack them, like will have any effect on them. Mm-hmm. You could, you can, um, so all creatures in Mythandria have uh, a, a core, at least a core of one. Yeah. Um, and so they all have a chance to resist or have a little some resistance to some magic. Um, and so you can think of as magic resistance as sort of your magical vestment versus uh, spell dominance and things. Right. Okay. So I should get two, right? So, <laughs> okay. Okay. well, Since you first, did chip in to explain it. I don't need an MP. You can just... <laughs> all right, so you get one. Uh, let's go. 
That's all I really wanted. I was just asking for two, so <laughs> oh, you got I con, can, man. Oh, okay, well, you're you do the LM get like nothing that. now. Uh, you know, the LM still has the power to take away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the LM for another 30 minutes. Yeah, actually, I retract that ability from you. Well, no, so you, you don't. Can't do that to me. All right, so you guys set up watch. Um, who was watching? First. First? Okay, you're first. So during my first watch, I want to let you know uh, two things that I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. The same spell stuff that I was talking about, but at the end. Yeah. And then while I'm watching, I want to draw the triad symbol in the dirt, mm-hmm. and then I want to get into my stance oh. and try and remember when I was fighting uh, Mephibosheth Day and it was completely dark, Yeah. and to use while I'm meditating mm-hmm. to focus with listening to my surroundings. Okay, so you're trying to meditate and focus. Well, I'm focusing hearing. Oh, but I'm sort of like how Mephibosheth Day wanted you to do when you were missing when I was, Yeah. Okay, all right. So I like you're that. just going to close your eyes and not watch. I'm, well, I'm watching. <laughs> um, Without watching? <laughs> yeah. How does that work? <laughs> well, yeah. look, my yeah. eyes what? may not be able to catch well, something to that like, I can hear. Location or something? Uh, what okay. we learned was that splitting the focus between the senses made them not as great as if I focused on one or the other. Yeah. So it's yeah. night already. So that that when we're all sight. asleep and vulnerable. <laughs> Yes, yeah. that's when you decide to practice that. Okay. Yes, because yeah. I'm the first watch. Okay. You'll be all right. Like, you guys aren't yeah. in deep sleep yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything. Now, go ahead and do that. So roll uh, Protean to focus on your uh, oh. stance. Or oh, your Protean. Protean. you got it too, of course. Yeah, well, that's only a 20. Okay, only a 20. So, all right, well, go ahead, continue. And then insight. <laughs> Protean's really low. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> 25. Okay, all right. So you feel like your form, there's something uncomfortable about it. You don't feel like you had it as nice as you did the first time. And you keep like shifting and moving just a little bit to Must try and get some water. <laughs> 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 I will say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and while that's going on, you hear some kind of maybe sloshing noise or you know stomping in like the way off distance Ooh, so i will open my eyes in the direction of that as soon as you open your eyes you see liwana's foot tap you in the face uh, okay roll or actually what is your vestment well just roll to hit me <laughs> uh, okay so you feel like a top on your face. That doesn't sound like a tap. It's now. Well, yeah, you know, for you it seems tap. like a kick. You know, you know, you know no, how, like, you know how people do like, damage. you know how people do like the five inch punch? Yeah. Oh, he went Bruce Lee. That's, that's he not was, a tap. He was, he was just Even doing, in the name, it's called a punch. <laughs> okay, so he was, he was doing that with one inch, like with his heel. Oh, that's wow. a kick. So <laughs> you do point. that. You only take two points of vitality damage, but you feel yourself get knocked back kind of far. Like, whoa, okay. Can I try and roll prowess to catch myself? Sure. Not like, even if I go far, but like land on my- Yeah, yeah, yeah. You easily feel like you went 10 feet back. Okay. Oh, great. Um, Uh, 34. Pixie McAz, do Gorgons have echolocation? Oh no, no, that no, we don't. It's a really cool idea. I like that. Well, but he doesn't have it. That's why I kicked in the face. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I heard him coming and I was there. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, Boom. You know what? Ooh. I knew you were there all the time. A 34. Okay, you got a 34? Yeah. All right, so that kick, you feel yourself like roll backwards from it. And so you do like a full rotation backwards as you bounce off the ground. You come to your senses. You feel that you're facing towards the ground. So you can kind of grab it, hold on to it, and as you're sliding back, you dig your claws into the ground, and you can push okay. yourself back up off that momentum. So, uh, I'm, so I'm on my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pull yourself back up. You're like in a crouching position, and then you can kind yeah, of... I don't, I, don't, I don't mind being in a crouching position. Okay. That's fine. I just wanted to be on my feet. Hmm. Um, so with that, I'm going to go to Luana and say... Ouch? <laughs> like, what was that? <laughs> Uh, and as that's happening, I'm casting salve on myself. You're casting salve on yourself? Okay. Might as well, just in case he fine. feels like training. I... <laughs> so I've just got three back. I admire your tenacity in your attempt to train, but it's clear you need some rest. Yeah, that's why I'm 
training. Training at a time where your team is vulnerable and sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. So you you clearly have it. I thought it was cool. Do you expect me to be here with you forever? No, but you're our guide. This is how Vondra works sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard him talk to people. <sighs> I won't always be watching over you. That's true. Keep that in mind. Yeah. I wish you safe. <laughs> I'm just confused, man. I'm, sorry, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just like, you know, I'm game. I understand. I'm just confused. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just telling you. <laughs> hey, Justine ninety nine just said, "I'm here." What did I miss? Oh, oh, oh my uh, whole bunch. Oh, wow. yes. Yeah, you missed a lot. I can't so, even no, start to try and yeah. explain it now. You're gonna have to watch the vlog. So, so, Brazilian so, Vondra's gonna say oh, to God. Luano, oh, he's gonna God. say, <laughs> he's gonna say, uh, I know you won't always be uh, watching, but I since say, we were here, I thought I would train. Um, since easy? it would be easier to train while someone stronger than us was here with us than to do it by ourselves. Well, uh, I respect that you understand my strength, but I am not here to babysit Wahulu. That's so right. You should know. So, hey, hey. Um, quick recap if you want. Let's go. Very well, quick, very oh. quick. All right, go for it. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> the, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, we started off, uh, me, uh, Baylock, the blood star, uh, who we now know is a god, but He's not. that comes later. Hey, uh, come on, uh, up, man. Me and Rastillion were uh, in the cave, you know, what happened last time, blah, blah, hand on the rock. Mm-hmm. Then we turned turned around and we walked through the waterfall, which didn't get us wet, which right. was weird. So, then uh, we were sort of like in a big, really big cave. You're halfway. Uh, huh? You gotta break the time. Quick, quick. Uh, we're in a really big cave, uh, and there was a hmm. halfling, who we now know was a... Uh, <laughs> uh, Em- uh so basically super cool magic happening yeah uh so he was like hey yo what do you need here and we were like uh we got a thing. thing uh and so we we left and we kept going and then there was a big gate and like bro they pulled a lever and the gate went down so we kept walking oh man uh, man this is so like, long five, four. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, a bridge five, came up and we walked through and four, we met and met the uh three, uh bl- Birth yeah. mother uh, and I almost killed her. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, and I'm trying. Oh, um, I was there. I. You guys, when, you're, you're the one. Uh, you uh, do it. Okay, I'll go ahead and roll one d. Oh, we can just get back and do it. it. I just wanted to give a real, real quick one. That's all. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, we, got a, we, got, we got a, we got a real quick one. Mr. That's cool. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. We'll, it, we'll always have next session where we can recap. There we go. Anyway. Okay, cool. so deeply so that's that's yeah. yeah Roger's like yeah. yeah. I, uh-huh. right. I get that. I just figured it would be safer to do it now than later. Like when we're all asleep. Yeah, that's so no, no. Yeah. Now, oh, now, now. Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> well, I can't. Like seriously, Roger's like I can't literally sit here while we're moving, and then I can't like do it if Luano isn't with us because then we might actually die. So he's just like, <laughs> there are things more dangerous than me in this world. I could be gone in an instant and unable to protect you. And as he says that, he's going to jump up and you see Sky Child swoop right under him as he is gone. Bye. Let's see that Sky Child. Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, that just made him seem way strong. Uh, <laughs> 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 that Luano can't yeah. deal with. We're dead. Yeah, we're dead anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So after that, you take your watch, you feel really exhausted after getting kicked in the nose. So you go over, tap stitch on the shoulder. Okay, and you're like, I'm exhausted? Well, you know, you got kicked in the face. Plus, you, you did take the watch. So you, like, you, you, you took the watch, you, you were trying to meditate. It took a lot of energy out of you. Plus, you're the first watch, so you would have been staying up extra long. You feel like you want to hit the mat and go to bed. All right. You tap Stitch on the shoulder, and you see him get up before you close your eyes and go to sleep. Stitch, you're done. I wrote 29. 29? All right. You stay up. 
you make sure the food is cooking for the morning, and you do your shift pretty well. Yeah, because well, it's overnight. Terrible stuff. You go to sleep, and you wake up to life. Definitely uh, want to make sure I'm. Get, get some sleep. Thank you. Welcome up. So Caliph is going to roll his insight, and he got a thirty. So he watches the camp, makes sure everything is good, gets used to the surroundings a bit, and then he'll go ahead and wake up the rest of the did camp. Did he meditate? 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 He did not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he did not meditate. He put it in for like three minutes longer than it used to be in. Right. Gotta be safe. So. You guys wake up in the morning. Um, Caliph makes sure you guys get up, you know, kind of early. You guys see uh, Luvano. Um, he's standing, you know, making sure he packs up all of his tent and everything, sets it on his back, and he I mean, starts walking. Ground, so. Time to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's follow. Let's go. Yeah, all right. So you up. guys follow him for an easy another two hours, maybe, as. Uh, Okay, so yeah, you guys follow him for you know easily that much more time. Um, <laughs> as we're walking, yeah. Um, Monitor was going to try to walk sort of um, on the edge of the group, uh -huh. sort of like walking through the, the trees to see if I can um, sort of scout. Yeah. You know the area, but keep them in my vision. Okay, that works. So go ahead and roll stealth and insight. Okay, stealth. Ooh. All right, so. Um, 41. Okay. And then insight 21. 21. Okay. So if any of you guys want to roll insight and get higher than that, you'll see him on a topa. Otherwise, you'll be kind of confused as to where he went. Okay. I got 30. You yeah, I got roll... oh. 29. 29. Okay. Wait. 26. Okay. okay. Fine. 26. What's my little over there? You don't see me. <laughs> I did. 30. I have 41 still. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, sorry. What is Matatopa not Try. doing over there? So, uh, hey, Try. where is Matatopa? Mm, <laughs> so you roll insight, and I'm while they're not, blindside. like, in your vision the whole time, just because of the way that you're, like, moving through the woods, you can hear them and keep track of them through that way. So I rolled blindsight since we just asked where Matatopa was. Okay. I couldn't find him. You do blindsight. Um, you, you would that it reveal? doesn't tell me it's him, it just gives me an it impression. Just, yeah, oh, okay. So, you see an impression off to your right following at the same speed that you guys are. You would tell it's a it's following, so I'm gonna tell Stitch, Well, I guess we gotta be ready. <laughs> Sky. <laughs> it's, uh, the sky is pretty sunny today, isn't it? <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and how far away in the impression is that? Um, it would maybe be just like 10 feet away from you because oh, you would be closest to that side. Then it As hear. you guys are walking, you start to see that the clearing sort of ends as you guys come to an open plain. Okay, so before the open plain, I'll say in Mage, uh, if you want to reveal yourself, do it now. And then if I didn't... Yeah, yeah. So, so if somebody casts concealment and it goes through, but then somebody casts blindsight like somebody else, Blindside would see the concealment. What is that? Oh. Unless yeah, we, we had that conversation. Still. The presence oh. is still there. Yeah. If I hadn't it's... done that, I would probably have done a uh, magic dominance versus magic resistance, but that spell makes dominance, more sense. Yeah. Or spell yeah. Well, so here's the thing. If you cast blindsight, you know, you're you're able to see things. But if you're casting concealment, you know, um, directly against that person, then that will work against that person. Yeah, but if the person if the person's match resistance is high enough that the concealment isn't, then, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then yeah. you're concealed against everyone but, else. But, but if your one side would hit, but if it works, if it goes through, yeah, if your spell dominance goes through because it's it's affecting you. Yeah, okay. so and then magical sight, magical cloak over magical sight. Yeah. yeah, and then there's also <sighs> like I guess items and stuff that you could get to help yeah. with that. Like if you really just wanted to be concealed, mm -hmm. concealed. Um, and so. In mage back, um, I'm going to say, uh, 
very well in your alertness as Maritopa steps out. Mm-hmm. Put the sword away. Call it. Yeah. Sweet. So, are you guys continuing on the trail? Yes. <laughs> so, everybody up ahead. Okay. Oh, I didn't hear that. So, we are coming up to a clearing, and you guys see like a really steep hill up ahead. Everybody roll whichever is higher, insight or survival. Um, dang, I think they're both. Dang it. Dang. 19. 19. Woo! Insight. Oh, so okay. Oh, no. Why, why did I get my survival? Like, <laughs> I'm 19. Why are you? Okay, so you got a 19. I got a I'm going to get that roll. 24? Uh, well, 27. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Um, are we in wooden areas? Oh, no, that's not the one. Yeah, no, right. 27. Okay, I can tell you. Okay, okay so. Um, anybody who rolled a 24 or above will see that in this cave, it blends in with the grass really well. There's like foliage covering the entrance to a cave in the hill. And it's got, um, what did you roll? 27. 27. And what did you roll? 24. Okay. All right. So you guys, um, so you guys just see that like there's an entrance to the cave, but it's covered by a lot of foliage. You see Liwano walked directly into that. How how long, like, since the thing with Maya Chopa, how long has it been? Um, that would have been, like, maybe a minute ago. Great. Do I see anything with blind sight? Um, oh, uh, anything with blind sight. You wouldn't see anything in the cave with blind sight except for Liwano. Okay. Um, so he's, a, uh, he's going through, so I guess we must follow, but... So, okay, like, so the grass, oh, the grass oh, in the plains, it it's also really tall. You would notice that you see an impression, like, way, like, maybe on the outer skirts of the 100 feet. 200. Oh, 200? It's 200 radius. Oh, 200 radius. Okay. So if I were, like, flying, it would... Oh, okay. All right. Then, like, 200. on the outer skirt of that, you would notice, like, maybe four impressions. Uh, yes. Be on guard. There are things ahead. Here well, they're not, like, they're not ahead. They're like to the right. Uh, there are things to the right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the bow out. Then let's, let's get in there. Yeah, uh, we should. Yes. All right, uh, so... I was going to go into the cave. Uh, um, right. Is it completely dark in there? Um, it's not completely dark. You guys can see a little bit, even if you don't um, have like Untersight or Star Sight. It's oh, a little to easy to see. So if you guys have Untersight or Star Sight, it's very easy to see in this cave. Question. Before I see anything with shade sight, anything with roll? shade sight, um, is that the one that sees heat? Kind of, it's like the, yeah, it's sort of yeah, like that. Sort of like heat vision, yeah. Okay. Um, no. Well, you would notice that the foliage mm. looks a bit hotter than most of the other stuff outside. If that is the case, then I'm going to open myself to the shadow sea. Before so, stepping in, Maritopa's gonna take a step and look around. Just wanna make sure nothing is following us. Okay. Uh, yes, well, there are things, so you definitely wanna come in. Maritopa. Yeah, but maybe I should just, maybe I should just hang out a little bit. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. So I'm gonna the go with persuasion. I didn't roll so well on my middle fortitude. So I'm, I'm right. going with persuasion. Maritopa. Okay. Be strong and be deadly. Yeah, they could come and trap us in here. Mm. Oh, my aren't we? So, aren't you supposed oh. to be? Aren't you supposed oh. to be? Oh, my hand, I don't roll persuasion. I roll middle fortitude. That's awesome. No, just like um, circle a twenty-two. Can't be that hard. Hey, twenty-two. Oh, so that's you win. Actually, you know what? I really don't think so. I mean, you um. It's uh. Are you helping? You see from the cave. Go on. I was going to say, you see, you see Sky Child from the sky, sort of flap its wings and come down. It lifts you, circles back around, and I don't want to say it throws you into the cave, but it drops you in a way that you're going into the cave. It throws you into the cave. All right. So as I drop, lighthearted. <laughs> yeah, so I can land nice and soft. It drops right. and, then I'm, and then I'm gonna say, uh, well, that takes care of that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm opening myself right. to the shadow sea. Eight mm-hmm. six, eight foot six. Yeah, I'm on top of eight foot six. Uh, that is twenty two. Twenty two. Okay, you open yourself to the shadow sea. 
yeah. you see I'm that right. there's in the cave you feel that there's energy but you're not <laughs> used to looking into the really sort of faint energy signals of core right and so you can tell that this cave has a sense of magic about it but you can't quite tell what that sense of magic is okay uh there's some magical stuff going on and there are four impressions that i see that are around us the grass seems to be a lot warmer than it's supposed to be on guard, there's some craziness going on. Mm-hmm. I told you I should have stayed out there. Well, I'm going to pull my sword out and I'm going right. to start walking towards there again. Mm-hmm. Got the bow out. Uh, so, hey, Stitch, why don't you take the back? The, yeah, mm-hmm. Guard rear. the rear. rear. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll... Stitch, you, you need some help? No, continue. Nah, you stay in the line of sight. I will leave. <laughs> Fair enough. It's okay, Fola. I promise this will be fine. Oh, oh yeah. so Fixie Mixer says, oh, now he's backing down. What? <laughs> so let me explain. <laughs> because uh, they're not teammates, yeah, he's not strong yeah, yeah, yeah. enough. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> quiet now. <laughs> uh, Marachopa is an Elon, and they get uh, quite claustrophobic. And so they have trouble going into like caves and tight spaces. So every time he goes in, mm-hmm. he has to roll like a mental fortitude check to see if he <laughs> Can overcome that fear. Basically, the, for, the power uh, of Sky Child compels you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. For right. 1EP, who can explain why Caliph is afraid of caves? He's an Elon Tumblr. Oh. oh. You guys said that both of I know. Me. I started I way know. quicker. Well, you did start way quicker. Okay. But That's teamwork. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Can, he just robbed like, him. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what was the what, question? Teamwork. It's teamwork. He can, he can give it to him. Yeah, we both got it. What was the question? He can just give it to him. No, neither of them get it because they do not respect. The hand raising. Well, it's it's a it's a class. Class. That's right. Uh, it's not class. Both it's grown <laughs> <laughs> they they not we're not in class. No, we're not. We weren't talking. The school was a long time ago. Group. Sorry, I just go for the first answer. My apologies. What was the question? So, who oh. was first? Oh. So you give it to him? Uh, no, you were talking first. Oh, okay, sure. I'm uh, sorry, man. I tried yeah, to give I it to you. It's You guys it. said it at the same time. Yeah, sorry. All right. Well, he said at the same time, we both get it. Yeah. I'm telling you, you can't confuse people. Either he said it at the same time, or he didn't. Come on now. Okay, all right, sir. You both get one. Awesome. Okay. You peer pressure. And no, that, no pressure. that is not peer pressure. I already wrote it on my notes. There you go. All right. Oh, so, so you guys see Liwano walking Why further down the cave. cave. Okay. As opposed to going first directly first down the path, and he goes. Let's. Uh, we got about 13 minutes left. Right. Um, I was going to. Do you have any questions for the night or do you want to continue was, that scene? No, it's fine. I was going to cut right off. He walks off and we end. Okay. We didn't cut him I'll off. Wait for him. Him. <laughs> I didn't know you were talking to me. I didn't know you were talking to me. I didn't know you were talking to me. You got to. You got to. You got to. <laughs> no, he got you did. like his sword does his wow. Actually, nice. good luck to My bad, my bad, campaign. Wow. Yeah, we got oh, them oh, and spread it amongst us. No, hey, that's it's... 50 apiece. I need 90 apiece. I want to give that's him time to come up with questions for you guys. No, that's, yeah. I, I totally get that. So, yeah. what's up? If you could give me 90 apiece. No, anyway. <laughs> so, um, for you guys, what is what is up with the Amaranthians? What do you guys think their whole thing is? Oh, I know. Okay, then go ahead. Well, I think uh, that they were almost like uh, Zen, but like they were sort of blessed uh, to be more powerful than the average uh, halfling, mm-hmm. and so they're often used as like guards and stuff, or like they're put in positions of power. Uh, because they're more powerful. I um, I think the Amaranthians either have Venry from a god, or um, or Ooh. some sort of what is Venry? Ooh. I know. <laughs> okay. I know. Venry. No, no. I'm just saying. Cam Cam doesn't know what Venry. Well, go ahead then. Since you want the EP. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Venry is sort of uh like the blessing of a god. Uh, it can take but like it can manifest in many ways depending on the god or goddess who gives it to you yeah. uh, but basically it just like helps you out because they like you so so i was thinking okay. that they either have venry from from a god or or a particular whatever um or they have um i can't think of the name of it right now so that'll probably be ep but they have something 
uh, not Avenor, but the things that like sort of mutation esque situation. I, I can't it. think of the name, but like the same thing that when we were walking with the dragon knots, we oh, saw a halfling with the. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Uh, they're Zen. Y- yeah, 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 yeah. You said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I either agree you know, with the that. Thing that you just said, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you're just. Yeah, you're we're thinking the it. same thing. I just didn't know what you were talking about. You took yeah. a long way around on that damn yeah. round. Yeah. Well, now you know. I wasn't trying to copy him. Okay. I didn't know what it was called. <laughs> you it was guys, my actual you guys, own thought. You guys thought. took the most roundabout way of just. It was my own thought. I'm sorry. He stole my answer. Yeah. All right. So does anybody always be be shaded in his father's favor? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Clearly, he stole the idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm done, too. Uh, I'm that's saying. That's Rastillion's job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That. So, does anybody, anybody else have an answer? Right. So, sorry. No, he's got anybody job. else got an answer? So, um, I think that um, they are... Um... <laughs> they're, they're like, a, um, like the special op. To what happened there? Like they're oh. they're they're brought up in a in a certain way, to where they're kind of predestined to be a certain class, a certain um, like have a certain trade almost. Mm. Um, they're um, like out of however many children are born, there is they're like the cream of the crop almost, and they're chosen to learn more skills and kind of unlock a true halfling. Hmm. I think they more like uh almost like a worker bee. The beehive, I think that they they're at work. Okay. So, um, right. Wouldn't the normal people be the worker yeah, bees? Yeah, he, 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 he can't give an answer and be like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's got it my answer. Say it with conviction. No. You know what I'm saying? It's my answer. Right. Okay. I don't know. The last thing you yeah. said with confidence got y'all 26. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's him. Right. Yeah, and I stand by what I said. So, uh huh. So, next question: What was what on earth was happening with the blood pool? Oh, wow. I got it. I got it. I think I know. No I more masters it. allowed. I know. So that's why I said, oh. <laughs> I, said, I, said I got it first. No, Actually, I no. said it first. You did say it first. Go ahead. So, um, I think that the fact that Baylock is Apparently a blood elemental and not a god. He's just a god of the one. Anyway, um, I think that his um that his blood had mutated the um the shards of the blood moon in a way that um they weren't normal. Like they were um well, I mean obviously not normal, but still <laughs> um I think that the fact that his uh, brand seemed to um, become more unnoticeable, even to uh, Baylock. That um, it when the he went to the blood pool, that it somehow took some of um, his brand, not take his brand, but his brand tempered tem- tampered with the um, the process. Hmm. Hmm. All right, that's a cool answer. Um, Caleb, you went right yeah. after Davy. So, since getting it, I've died twice. True. Yeah. So, I think that when I died, just like how my brand changed from earth seemingly to blood, I think that the stones died. Hold on. And so, the, it was black because of, like, Black putrefaction, future, whatever. Putrefaction. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, uh, when you die, like, you melt, sort of, kind of. You die uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, but, like, your organs, like, gotcha. turn black, goop. So I think that's what happened. But so you with the murdered. unborn, like, fetuses. Uh, uh, so, yeah. yeah. Murdered. Okay. Unborn. Man, you're just trash. Trash. Yeah, just so, unborn children. So, so, mm. so yeah. Good. Okay. Um, I had no idea. It makes sense. Oh, oh, oh my Wait, hold on. Time out. That's How do y'all so get mad when no. someone steals no, an answer right. and then get upset when they don't have an answer and be like, you should have stole? <laughs> <laughs> 
We get mad at him for stealing, right? We get mad at him for, yeah. for like not even putting in the effort to steal. Uh, I don't think we're stealing young men that did it accidentally. Uh, he still stole. Uh, <laughs> he still said the same thing as me after me. Mm-hmm. I did that. Uh, so, like next question. Um, <laughs> what was what was going on while you guys were on watch? Uh, Anybody can watches? watches? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, I think... Oh, go ahead. No, okay. Oh, okay, cool. I think uh, the Rano was okay, making sure know. that we. I know, that's why I said you want to go ahead. Just go. You just started to blurt it out. Just go. No, 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 no. You can't win, Jeff. Just go. Okay, so the Rano was watching, uh, and I think Sky, Sky Child was watching um, uh, because he was. Uh, there's a lot of things going on with the Kadadra line and stuff like that. So I think they were making the rounds around just the area in general and making sure that things weren't going the uh, south like that. And then he had people in the rendezvous, like, ready, because where we're going. Yeah. He had people that were ready to meet us. So they were also watching, too. And then when I was doing my watch, he was like, what is he doing? Like, <laughs> he was over there with his eyes closed. They're like, he is stupid. Hold on. Let me, let me learn him something. All right. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay. What do you think? Oh, you were talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, well, I think... I can't answer this one. Uh, that, uh... Luano and Skychild were taking turns watching with us because... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not mm-hmm. stealing your answer like you did mine. Sounds an awful lot like mine, though. <laughs> hold on, just the beginning, though. And maybe the end. In the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Scott Shaw and Luana were like watching us, were watching you guys because you guys, uh. Yeah. They, okay, so right. he stole my answer. Go ahead. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I'm going to go there a little bit. Only with regards to, I think they were observing us as we were watching the setting guard. I just made sure that we were alert. And we had one person who was not, they came down and gently tapped or kicked or whatever. Gently? You know. Well, yeah. Yeah. Two points of damn I flew 10 oh, feet. Yeah, you landed <laughs> on your feet. Just to remind, <laughs> to remind the person. I don't wrong. He could have killed you. Just yeah. to remind the person that it's important that we be, we be diligent on our watch. Mm-hmm. All and right. then, baby, you'd be last. All right, Tab, I'm just going to take Blondie's answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Would you at least like to restate what he yeah, said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got <laughs> So, um, our, um, our team, um, I don't want to say this is, uh, respectful. Um, our, we already know what you're going to say because you <laughs> stole my answer. So, just say it. So, um, anyway, so, um, yeah, I think they were definitely, uh, flabbergasted with the fact that, uh, um, flabbergasted. Um, mm-hmm. a person who asked, to do watch would um, close their eyes <laughs> to to heighten their sense when you, when you could have just not listened and just looked and maybe you see better. But okay, okay. Um. Anyway, I so, just um, chose a sense. I think that they were just um they were gonna watch no matter what. But the fact that he um closed his eyes on watch. It's really close That's not even that. Yeah. Yeah. I could have blindsided it's while my cold. eyes were closed. Cold. Cold. Yeah. And you close your eyes. Oh, you so, yeah, you could have yeah. blindsided and your eyes could be close to your eyes. Alright. Let's try it. Okay. What was going on with Crash? Crash was cool. Those yeah. minutos. Yeah. Crash was, Crash was cool. He, a uh, spirit shark guy, really dope. Uh, he had some things. I think he's also <laughs> making some rounds in terms of uh, getting the spirits uh, sort of together and transferring the information of the stuff that's happening around Methandria, right. um, along with the things like the Kadaja Lin and all that stuff. But there's some things that I don't want to say because of out of game knowledge. But I think he has some knowledge about some stuff like that. And he's, he's sort of one of the informants to sort of bring some of the spirits together as well on what's happening. Yeah, okay. What do you think? You know, I think that uh, he is on a mission, obviously, because that's what he said. Mm-hmm. Uh, is on a so mission. that is one EP. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is on a mission by, probably like by someone, like a stronger spirit, like a, the nature spirit, uh, or probably like possibly a prime being or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, he was sent to like 
to, I think, like, gather knowledge, which is why he was seemed so knowledgeable and, like, seemed to speak different languages and stuff from what he said. Uh, yeah, just to gather knowledge and, like, bring it back. And that's why he was on in such a hurry. Right, yeah. Okay. That was an awful lot to say. Just get to that last little part. Right, right, just to right. get to my answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't right. listening to you at all. <laughs> That's what happened right. with you. <laughs> Hold on, Stitch is going to try. Hold on, hold on. 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 What I was going to say was, listen up. He was a scout. He was focused on his mission, but somebody interrupted him. And he came, he paid to entertain that person for a period of time. Hey, Cam Venom, he wrote this stuff down. I did, you know man. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody criticized him. Get that boy, no EP. How do you spell his name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Davey, go. Um, so I think that um, he, um, he holds um, the respect of many, uh, many beings because the fact that fish were uh, moving out of his way and showing that he's a big deal um, and that he was still willing to um talk to a um not so big deal, I guess. Um Ooh, Ooh. I mean, would have I would have said the same thing for anybody because yeah, they still do for us. Yeah, no, not, yeah. Anyway, you throw so, a shade uh, at your father. Anyway, so I think that you know, uh, he's a um you know he's an important point, figure. So. Um and I do think he's like a messenger and um I think he um he's respectful to um he's just a good guy. He's Still good everyone's guy. answer, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well I think he's a very powerful spirit um that is patrolling sort of the boundaries between Methandria and the spirit realm mm-hmm. because you know to keep the Kadaja land at bay. Hmm. Can I can I th- say who I oh, think man, can't not say for EP? Um, as you um, send this meme all the freaking time to us. No, it is not. Andy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, it is not. And I, did, I, did. I had one more in down, but we can just do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cam fam, it was nice having you guys. Uh, it is nine Nailed o'clock. It. We're gonna have to end the stream, but Good it was job. nice having hey, you guys Cam for fam, today. Before we go, let's let's give uh, Anthony a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. It was super fun to learn after for you guys. It was really interesting seeing what y'all had to do. So, um, you're right. Can you let them know where they might uh, learn something about us? Cam fam, you can visit us on our Twitch like you are now at twitch.tv. Okay, no, seriously. Cam fam, (laughs) check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Everlord Games. Check us out on YouTube, Manchild LTV, and check out our site, Manchild LTV. Dot com. We've got some awesome things in store and planned for you guys. Um, but Cam Fan, remember, no matter who you are, this game is, is for you. you. See you, Cam See you, Fan. Cam Fan. We're logging off. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's too late now. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. 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 For, for the people who are watching on YouTube, you can catch us on Twitch where we stream. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh-huh.